The year is now 2099. You've waited long enough. You say, where's my redemption? Where is justice? I feel like I've waited my entire life for this. For this one show. That can show us some cool stuff already. Hey, yo. We're up. We're up. We're live. I got weird different headphones. I'm streaming with magic. I'm very small in this corner. You're over in that corner. M, if you want to get a message through, it takes a couple of minutes for it to all kind of kick off. But this is the plan. This is the plan for tonight. This is the plan. Virtual desktop. I'm going to show you everything I know about virtual desktop. We're going to stream with our recently upgraded Elite Strap Quest. Woo! Quest 2, that is. And this black box... This black box has something special. Something that you haven't seen before. And I've been very much looking forward to. I mean, like, this is like probably the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. What is in this box? What is in this box? Who can guess? Who can guess what's in that box? I'm more excited about what's in this box. You guys are gonna hate me. Then when I open the quest. Because I didn't know how good it was at that point. But right now, I know says, what's in here. When you are in developer mode, can you play games? When you're in developer mode, can you play games? Yes, you can. <clears throat> My headsets are like always in developer mode. I switch it on, I never turn it off. Just developer mode, developer mode, developer mode. Developer mode, developers, 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 developers. If anyone knows Mr. there's a famous Lime Steve says, Ballmer. Good evening speech that involves that. I feel like these are chess pieces. We've already taken a hit a little bit on questy stream stream time, so maybe we shouldn't wait too much longer. Thank you for all the viewership. Yesterday was insane. We hit 400 concurrent viewers. That's the highest Mr. I've Cotter been says, on YouTube. I eat the quest one month. So, <laughs> you eat the quest. Well, sure you do, Cutus. Welcome back. What are PC specs you recommend to run VR? So, you don't need a lot of crazy stuff. Let me take away that music. We don't need the fucking music. Uh, the music is the, just for the intro. We're just for the outro. Okay, that is the plan. So, uh, what do you need for what do you need for VR? I'd recommend at minimum an i5, probably an i7 if you're on an Intel, with at minimum a 970. But you probably want like a 1080 or higher. I run a 1080. I stream and everything with it. If you want like perfect gameplay with most games, then a 1080 is kind of your it's your current new minimum standard. Um, what you really should have is probably something a bit more than that, but don't feel bad if you can't afford it, whatever, for PC gaming. So, tonight, everybody, I gotta show you the magic that is not only just wireless gaming on the Quest, which I've been showing you kind of all week kind of job, but actually showing exactly what you can do with this when you've got a PC. Now, there's some pretty cool solutions that I haven't tested. Shadow PCs and stuff like that. T. Wolfo in chat was talking about uh, is that you have the ability to connect to a PC in the cloud. Wolfo says, is a GTX 1660 good enough? And play off of that. Uh, is a 1660 good enough? I don't know. I've got a 1060. I don't think I'm very familiar with the 1660 card. Look, I used to be huge into my tech. I've built maybe about 20 PCs in my life, like all discrete components and stuff. Um, but I'm not, I, I don't like, you know, watch Ars Technica that closely, Tom's Hardware Guide. I just, I'm not that guy anymore. I'm into VR now. But even in VR, I'm not the guy to tell you what's the resolution of the headset and that kind of stuff. The technicalities, I'm, I'm kind of, says, I'm fine. Have you watched fine. England lose against Denmark? I'm not, I'm not a sporty guy. What were they playing? Was it cricket? Were they bashing each other's balls a little bit? It's possibly what, what's going on. With all of that. So again, what we're going to do tonight, I'm going to show you a couple of things because I'm super excited uh, in particular for one of the things, one of my, my recent purchases, which is nothing to do, literally nothing to do with virtual desktop. Zero uh, to do with virtual desktop, but it's something that I'm going to be using both on the podcast, streaming, and generally Clutch Lime says, is a new black says, box Don't be solution. shy, open the box. Very happy, very happy. We're not going to uh, spend too much says, time there. Zim, do you have donations on? I've got donations on. Don't feel obligated, please. But if you want to, they'll work. 
Um, right, so in terms of, uh, what can I say? Quest 2, we've gone through all of that. This is my second Quest 2, as you can see from the little picture of the boxes here. We've got a 64 and a 256. This is the 256 model that we have been using more recently. Um, the one thing I would say just from says, yesterday... The donation the, isn't working. Okay, well, don't worry, Vibe. We'll work on that another day. You know, there's plenty of time. So um, the main thing is that you guys get what you want from this show. This is great. The Elite Strap, fantastic. I hear it's getting sold out pretty quick. So if you see one, my recommendation is pick one up says, if you're a gamer. Say, have a beer, ha, ha. Okay, have a beer. <laughs> Beers are good. I I'm actually off alcohol this year. Alcohol's been screwing with my system. I usually love a beer, but... um. I don't know, I can't do I can't hack it right now. I can't hack it. It's kind of sucky. But anyway, it is what it is. So look, we're gonna get on with it. We're gonna we're gonna do virtual desktop. Uh, I have a whole ton of games that I want to play. A lot of the classics, like Half-Life Alex, the Vertigo 2 demo, because a lot of people don't even know that that exists. Um, uh, what's the other one? Don't look down. I put it in the description. Feck it. It's there. Uh, and then if anyone wants something specific, tell me. If you want to get a message through to me, especially when I'm talking and I'm in my head, it's hard to read chat a little bit. Uh, if I'm in the headset, I can still nose peek. That's how I do it, for those who don't, uh, who are wondering. Cart says, I'm just waiting for so, BMBF to update to 1.12.1 LOL. I don't even know what that is, Hunter. Um, so, I've, this is interesting, because this is my 256 headset. Uh, someone asked me yesterday, is it heavier? No. It's not a hard drive. They didn't put a hard drive in here. There's not a whirring hard drive. Says, can okay. you play Beat Saber? <laughs> it's Flash. It's Flash. Beat Saber. Um... I can. I'm going to try not to do what I did yesterday, which is play songs that are uh, striking related, but we'll do Beat Saber. Uh, just let me know if there are things you want. I'll mark them down. We'll get on with it. Okay. Job done. First thing I'm going to try, I think we're going to try Alex as the starting thing. That just makes sense. I'm going to leave the box until later because this stream is about virtual desktop. Now, quick point. You have usually seen me streaming from the Quest, showing you what I see in the Uncle Quest. Ungerben says, okay? can you do some Alex? I'm doing Alex first. Um, and and what, I normally, what I normally show you is headset Clutch view. Lime says, Tonight, box, box, box. I'm showing you desktop view. And one of the cool things that a lot of you wanted to, uh, was that were asking me about, was like, what are these headphones, the uh, which I have a review says, on. Um, but the cool thing is I'm using these to hear desktop audio. Dark wine 263 okay. says, and I'm, I'm going to use this. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Rob. Uh, keep up the good streams. Realized I've watched about 90% of your streams since the DK2 days. Whoa! Rob, that's insane. That's insane. Uh, if, if that's on both platforms, you're better than my wife. All right. So, uh, and uh, hit me up. <laughs> Winky face. Right. Roy Paul says, what is the reference of the headset, please? What's the ref? What's the, re what's the ref? The reference what? Uh, don't think I... Darkwine263 says, buy sub to Bam Marks, please. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Hopefully this won't turn into a donation stream. Those are crazy, but annoying because you can't get information through sometimes. Clutch Lime um, says, somebody <laughs> donate to you. Um, so... The what was I even fucking saying? I don't even remember, lads. This is the problem when you don't uh, you don't sleep enough and all you do is play VR stuff and quest and blah blah blah. It's a gray headset, two five six. The only things loaded in this little trinkety headset right now are virtual desktop and SLR. That's Roy it. Paul says, Clean. What is your headset name? Pristine. LOL. Oh, I don't have a name for her yet. I do need a name for her. We will do it. All I can say is, if you can get it, that's a lovely backstrap. It was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's stream where I blue tacked the camera to my head, walked around. I thought it made for quite an engaging stream. We'll do that again, but I don't like... I'm not just a one-trick pony. I'm a mini-trick pony. Clutch Lime says, many tricks. box, box, box. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing the box yet. This box stays shut for now, okay? Virtual desktop. Let's introduce what is virtual desktop. Ah, I was telling you how I was going to show you. So. LF says, I guess either a kitten or Sennheiser <laughs> headphones in the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking my headphones off so I can't hear you. I can't hear you. i got to finish my stream of consciousness. Otherwise, we're not going to get through this. And no one who watches this video later is going to be, like, understanding what's going on. First off, I am going to stream. 
the Oculus Quest 2, right, from the PC Xbox, to the Xbox, Oculus Xbox, Quest 2, so I get the visuals from the PC. Visuals are fantastic. I demonstrated it before, but the problem is if I've got traffic coming this way, right, at me from, from the PC, the problem is then I can't push traffic back to you without what's called Wi-Fi congestion. And what that means is things get, look lagged and they're not realistic in terms of how I see them. So just know that the experience that you get in the headset is, I'll, I'll describe it verbally, but it's nearly latency free. Virtual desktop it does an amazing job. It feels better than Link. The Link system is kind of broken in my opinion. Um, this is fantastic. This is absolutely what you want. If you happened to not get the bigger of the two headsets and you're strapped for cash, you got the 64 gig, but you have a laptop or a computer, I strongly, strongly recommend Hunter pick up a copy off says, Oculus Home Store so that you can Google pick up Translate. Virtual Desktop, side quest load it, play your Steam VR games, and that storage doesn't come off of the headset that's sitting on your PC. And it's actually running off of your PC, so it's relatively lightweight. So you get quite a bit of battery time. Um, the only thing that you have to watch out for is you need uh, either a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network says, running in your home. Um, you and, and really, I would recommend disabling your 2.4 gigahertz network to get the best performance. That's what I've done. And what you will see uh, on my desktop, any stutters or lag or whatever, is probably because of encoding and streaming. And it's just my PC choking up if it's trying to run a game. Alex is quite intensive. There's some other games. I won't show you Squadrons, but this combination actually runs Squadrons perfectly. Roy I've sat here at my desk for a lot of, lot of time Tyrell playing it away, full battery run, link. totally fine. No sim sickness resulting from lag or anything. It's been actually great. It has. Okay. Uh, can you put a USB Wi-Fi dongle into the USB slot? I have no idea, Barnett. That sounds crazy. Um, this thing has its own Wi-Fi chip. I don't think it would be recognized. I'd, I'd, I'd guess no. I'd hazard a guess at no. Um, it's pretty locked down, this thing, for now. Okay? So, uh, right. Uh, if you're having trouble, Hunter, with Discord, um, just go to http colon slash slash discord.zimtalk5.com. That should work for you. Should work for anybody who wants to join on Discord. Do I have any uh, concerns about Facebook's privacy policy? It's a good question. Now, I can hear your messages again. says... I just joined the Discord. Okay. Sometimes I do streams uh, where we're live on Discord and stuff as well. So, and you're welcome to join me if I'm if I'm doing that. Tonight it's just me talking, showing you stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna show you desktop Rocket games. We'll start with says, Alex. I have Quest Two, but find foam uncomfortable. Any tips? Uh, the foam is a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, huh. Tips. Um, hmm. I, what you could do is you could buy those funny. Um, they have these like light cotton face masks that like Japanese people wear in like VR. Arcades. Says, <laughs> you could wear box, that box, box, for now. Tell you to open the box now. VR cover is something. Okay. Hunter Shukart says, yeah. box. Guys, if you keep saying box, I'm going to have to mute you. I don't want to do that. So just can we cool it on the box? I will show you the box later. I want to cover VR desktop first. Okay. So virtual reality, uh, so virtual says, desktop. A Distros here. First time catching the YouTube stream. Uh, Astros. Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome. Astros, old buddy here. Old buddy of mine. Okay, so, uh, uh, underscoring old, old, very old, no. <laughs> Got to jab them when you can, when you can. Right, so the way virtual desktop works is you take a streamer app from vrdesktop.net. You install that on your PC. Just a little program, it runs. You enter your username so it knows what to connect to. Then you take any of your Oculus headsets. It works with Oculus Go, works with Oculus Quest, and it works with Oculus Quest 2. There's some special features that, that uh, Guy Godin, the developer behind Virtual Desktop, is working on specifically for this, like 90 hertz uh, refresh rate. I was able to try that, but a recent patch actually disabled uh, 90 hertz uh, in Quest, and now it's shunted into an experimental mode, but applications, generally applications running, are restricted to 72 hertz at the moment. Okay. If I got that somehow technically wrong, I apologize. As I said, I'm not as much a techie as some other people. Ray Pope says, so, can you install Steam games on the Quest 2 to play wirelessly at a friend's house? So with virtual desk, this is the this is the thing that's going to blow your mind. Okay? This is going to blow your mind. This is going to fucking blow your mind. I've played... I'm in Scotland. Okay? I'm in Scotland. Scotland is far away away from a lot of places. Where is it quite far from? It's really far away from California. I brought Clutch my Quest. 
Can I be the night bot? I brought my Quest to California and using virtual desktop, remote connected back to my PC. And it wasn't great, but I did connect to my PC Clutch and I did play says, No Man's Sky. Manurator. Separately, the difference between Edinburgh, so that's about 3,000 plus miles. So it doesn't work great, but if you need to connect the to a PC for, says, for files or whatever, that's really good. In and it should be hella <laughs> um, the other thing that I was going to say is I did do a test which was totally great, which was from Edinburgh, where I live, down to London. And I was in a hotel in London. I was even on 2.4 gigahertz network, not ideal. Uh, and I was able to play No Man's Sky. Again, I just parody tested it with my wife. It was great. It was there in my robe. You know the robe they give you in, in hotels? You're like, yeah, I got a robe. I'm just in my robe. Had my, my counterfeit quest. I always felt like, you always feel like the, the dirty guy who's got a quest or whatever. Had my quest, put it on, connected to my PC. Amazing. Says, Amazing. Clown face vibe blob discord emote sent from. Other, other thing that you have to know, okay? Other, other important thing you have to know about this. Virtual desktop can work. You can, as long as your PC Chris is powered Richardson on. Says, There's a new hack that lets you play games at 90 hertz in virtual desktop guy confirmed. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I heard about that today, but I didn't want to, I don't want to talk about stuff that I don't have information about yet. Um, Chris is a reliable source. You can trust the things he says. Go on, Chris. Just, you can undermine me now. Just say whatever. Dig that hole deeper and deeper. Um, so I keep getting sidetracked. Let's just play some games and I'll tell you other stuff as we're going. I've been talking enough. Let's go, let's go. What's in the box? That's the question, Bacon, isn't it? But I will show you later. It is a special thing. It is my special friend. So today what we are gonna do, I'm gonna use, so I use Steam VR. You launch, right, from the headset. You launch the virtual desktop app. Hunter Shoe Cart says, Beat You Saber. connect and you launch Steam VR from the headset. You actually do the launching from the headset. It kicks off on your desktop. It will recognize your Quest, your controllers, as connected to the PC, as your PC interface. This is the weird part. It's gonna treat it as, it, pretend your Quest 2 has now been transformed into a Vive, okay? Your Quest 2 is now a Vive. Vive doesn't like playing Oculus home games, and neither Don't does this fake says, <laughs> Steam Play VR headset, multiplayer. okay? So that's it. We did Beat Saber multiplayer yesterday. I don't tend to like to repeat things stream on stream. I will do a little bit of Beat Saber as a desktop test just to show you the visuals. That's the best part. You get the visuals, you get the clarity, all that kind of stuff, and low latency. Chris now, Richardson this room's says, a little bit small. Never my intention. Okay. You are um, the man's in talk five. No, 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 no. I, I was saying, Chris, I gave you a, a, a free pass. Um, and so with that free pass, if you really wanted to be naughty, you could say nasty things, you know? You could say whatever you want. So that's what I was saying, dude. This guy's amazing. Rob, thank you again. Just one more donation. I invested my years of Zim points, so I live off them now. Mystic Max says, <sighs> how is Quest 2 with Elite Strap comfort-wise compared to Index? Um, I would say on par. Uh, maybe even better, because the Index has a cable. But it is, it's the most comfortable combination. This combination is the most comfortable combination I've ever tried in a VR combination. Um, super, super comfortable. I think it would be comfortable to look up and down ladders in Minecraft VR uh, with this combination. That's how comfortable that is. Which is like uncomfortable in pretty much every headset. So that's why yesterday I was proclaiming when I put it on, I was like, I could do Minecraft in this. And I'm excited about that. So... I'm not excited about Minecraft. Just the fact that it wouldn't hurt me anymore. Right, let's play. So I'm going to be doing Oculus Mirror to show you the game. So you're going to see the game off running off desktop. You should hear the audio. Okay, I picked that up. If you don't hear audio, tell me. Use a message to tell me. I am... You want me to try some Minecraft? Okay. Okay. Minecraft. Let's Clutch do that. Lime says, could you walk around a big warehouse if no you problem. owned one and not lose connection? Oh. A uh, big warehouse and not lose connection. You can go pretty far, um, but the thing is your limit is going to be... And this is the thing I'm going to say. Like, these headphones, these are amazing. I can walk outside, outside of my brick house, and I will still have the connection. If I walk outside, you'll probably have seen it. I've done a combat roll. In other words, running through the garden and flipping upside down in my quest, mm -hmm. and then my dog attacked me. So, if you, if you really want uh, to see that stuff, I do have old YouTube videos 
that show you these crazy things, these, these tests I've done. I've done it on a yacht. I've done it in, a, in several planes. As I said, far away, all this kind of stuff. I've, I've used quests, goes, and stuff like that in all these different myriad circumstances. So I can, I can talk Shady from experience. Says, okay. Can you tell me the virtual combat settings? What the feck are virtual combat settings? I don't know, even know what that is. Um, okay, let's start again. I can't find good ones with 866 MB5 gigahertz. Uh, <laughs> with, that, with that kind of connection, you should be able to do whatever you want. Um, when you say combat settings, I think I know what you mean. So something that's going to work well and have no latency. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect Steam VR, and we're just going to start showing Shaggy you. Shaggy Al says, the game. "Virtual okay. desktop settings." Hmm. Right here we go. Bum, 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 bum. That's fine. That's fine. That's all good. That's fine. I'm just making sure everything's looking like where it should. N zero uh, Sorry, I've not answered all your questions. Can you explain again? It's hard to keep up. You're all very like excitable. <laughs> And uh, I will show you stuff here in just a second. I got to get this set up first, and then, and then we're gonna, uh, then we're gonna be good. Okay. So I'll just get virtual desktop open, connect to the computer, we'll which it does. It. It's an Do 866 know, and megabit connection. Okay. Blades and sorcery. Yes, I've played it. Yes, I know it. Um, I'm just launching Steam VR. Mystic Max says. Zimai provoke you to play Phasmophobia. I will be doing Phasmophobia. Uh, what the feck? Um, Bugs and VR says, <coughs> I haven't had my third monster yet. This isn't excitable. <laughs> this isn't excitable. Um, okay, well, one small thing. I'm going to put the music on here to wait because I have to do something. It's Remember I said I was having trouble with the headset? It's connected just fine. Shoe cart says, can you do Minecraft using the VivaCraft mod? Oh, I'm getting the audio through, which I don't want. Yes, you can. Uh, I've got a Minecraft streaming solution, which you should be able to see. It's it's one of my upper rated videos um, or viewed videos. So there's a Minecraft 6 DOF. Just type in Minecraft 6 DOF. You'll find my video on it. Tells you about virtual desktop, all the bits that you need how to install it, set it up, and what that's like. So uh, that's that's from a while ago. When I figured out that you could do that, I was like, holy shit. N We've got wireless Journal Minecraft, w and it's amazing. LF says, can you explain again the bit about this making the headset emulate a Steam headset? I'll explain that again in a second. I just need to cater for a small problem that I'm facing here. Base. So one of the things is when you're looking to connect your headset, one of the things you have to bear in mind is when you do the connection, you have to allow it. You have to allow the connection in the headset. So you'll get a prompt that says allow access to data every time now. It didn't used to do this on Quest. Um, and then that allows SWFT basically side quest or similar things to connect. Huzzah. Yeah. Your Minecraft 6 DOF walks thruff was fantastic. Yeah, I appreciate really well. The thing is, once you realize that's possible, your brain kind of goes like, holy shit, what else can I do? I've used, with my Oculus Go, virtual desktop, to play uh, racing games with my Oculus Go. Oculus Go, right? Great panel. You don't need to move around. There's no sixth off need. You just sit there driving away. That's amazing. So cheap. So Mystic cheap. Max says, it's crazy. Zim, you have grown a lot in live viewers. Oh. 100 already. I'm going to get shy and bashful now. Oh no. Right, so what I'm trying to do is quickly flash virtual desktop VR patch file transferred successfully. Yay! Sean Clay I should have showed says, you that, but... Will the Quest 2 play 7K or 8K videos? The Quest 2 can play 8K videos. Now, there's, there is a series uh, from... David Attenborough called Micro Monsters, which is just out about a week ago. Go check it out on Oculus TV. I can maybe show you that. Uh, I showed it a couple of streams ago, so maybe look it up. The series has been pretty good. We've been enjoying ourselves. And later I'll show you what's in this box. My favorite thing for the night, I'd say. Here, where are we? We're gonna go there. That's the box. This is the place we want to be. <gasps> Let me connect and then we'll show you what we got to show you. Okay. 
Nearly there. Thank you for your patience. Uh, this is actually really straightforward. Anyone who's used virtual desktop, you're going to be like, Zim, this looks really complicated. You're making this look way too complicated. It's like a two-step process. It's not complicated. It works really easily. Okay. Now all I got to do is show you the feckin' thing. All right, let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Virtual. Virtual desktop. There we go. Oh, yeah. Clutch Lime says, will my Bose 700 headphones work with the Quest 2? So if you're asking about specific headphones, I can't advise you because I don't know. I've not tried them. Um, one of the things to watch out for is sidebar impact. If your headphones have a profile on it that actually kind of jet out after the headphone, then likelihood they won't conflict. This headset is pretty good. It's nice and tight to your head. Make sure you check the overclock settings if you're streaming and are using 90 hertz. Thanks, Steven. Yeah, I, I think it's been disabled in this. There is a patch or whatever, but I haven't done that just yet. Okay. Steam VR is apparently running. Let me make sure that that's all good. Reset headset. Start in Steam VR. Okay, I'm seeing it now. Chris Richardson so, says, here we go. There's a part of the fit kit that fixes the light gap 100% clips onto the lens. Okay. See, I don't have a problem with that, because I got a massive nose. <laughs> There's no problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kick something off now. So SteamVR is running, headsets recognized, controllers also recognized. I can see it. Uh, you can't see Jack yet. I will go ahead and launch Alex, and we will have some fun. Okay, I know you can't Richardson see anything yet. says, ha ha. So don't worry. This is, uh, this is expected behavior for the time being. Now it should appear. If it doesn't appear, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> All right, I see it on my side. Why are you not seeing it? Hello. I can even hear it. Classic music. I never liked that they have it echoing. I know you can't see it. Hold on. I got to figure out what's going on. That's the right window. All right. Uh, that one. Oh, were you in a different? Ah, feck it. I'll just, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make it easy. We'll go. Roy Paul says, don't spoil major things, please. Oh, don't worry, I won't. I won't go anywhere far or anything like that. So if you haven't played Alex yet, you are safe to watch. Okay. Uh, bear with me here. That's fecked up a little bit, isn't it? Bear with me. Roy Paul says, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Don't worry. I, I, I am not a spoilery kind of guy, and I hate it when people spoil stuff. That's why Oculus Mirror isn't working. Of course not. Because we're not on... <laughs> this is a Steam VR headset. I realize now. says I can't get virtual desktop, which sucks. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. If... Uh, says, Darth Vade. Come on. What's going on here? Oh, that's why. Sorry, I'm having a little small problems here. Very small problems. Okay, hold on, hold on. Darth Vader. Is he here? Can I get his autograph? Sorry Bound for these LaSalle says, annoying... A strap gonna be a week late. Uh, chat. <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need it. But this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so here we go. So the problem that I ran into there, other streamers who might be like Zim, you noob, um, is that you can't use Oculus Mirror, of course, when you're using the Steam VR platform. You got to use a Steam VR tool. Uh, in this case, I'm just using the, the actual Steam monitor. Now, it's, it's giving me a little bit of a, an error message here. Low available memory. I always get this when I'm streaming, but, you know, it's it is VR what it says, is. Have you tried to use Chromecast and have you had latency via casting? I don't use Chromecast. I use a Wi-Fi mechanism. There we go. Chapter two, quarantine zone. Load the file. Okay. I think this is the same thing we showed the other night, which is like the first time you see some stuff. Any lag Welsh using VD? Saucy says, Hi, no. Zim. No. Any lag using VD whilst streaming? <sighs> Literally zero. Um, lag while using VD while streaming. So what you're saying is, uh, as a streamer, do I incur any specific Mystic latency? Says, Only if I'm trying to stream by a screen copy. Latency you get. 
I haven't checked. I've got tools like VR FPS and stuff like that. I just haven't. I haven't bothered, to be honest. Okay. So, as I said, the settings I've got this on are a little bit high at the moment. So, this might not run all that well. And in fact, this controller isn't picking up for some reason. Okay, that's okay. That one's all right. Oh, I forgot. It's on teleport or something. Right. So as I said, I'm not going to spoil anything here. I'm just going to have a look around. We'll play another game. Um, I don't know why I'm having... It's not going to make it easy for me to show you what I'm doing if I've got this setting. It's because everything's new, I think, is the problem. How do I... How do I get to the menu in Beck and Alex? If I hold that down... Not sure what I'm doing. Clutch hmm. Lime says, what is a 5GH router and how much are they? So 5 gigahertz routers are, let me just see here what my streaming settings are. So I'm currently running at video frame rate 90 FPS. I don't want that. I'm going to go back to 72 um, just because I, I want it to run easy. Now it's saying I'm going to have to restart the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to see how it's going. Am I seeing any artifacts? Zero. Are you seeing artifacts right now? Yeah, zero artifacts. It is sharp. Wait, are you? Yeah, it's sharp. It's sharp. Ah, that's perfect. The thing is... S-W-F-T-S-L-N-T-D-D-L-Y says, menu is Y on left controller, unfortunately for your current situation. Viru Thrill House says, how long does the battery charge with VD? How long does the battery charge last with virtual desktop? Um, I haven't done a full end-to-end -end test, but I guess to we'll do. know tonight. So uh, this was pretty much a full headset. Let me just check my battery charge, actually. 87% at the moment. So we did lose about 10% with all the fannying about and stuff. Um, I am just going to show... I got a dead zombie here. I, I thought the combine sealed up the QZ. Okay. Oh, this one must have squirted out. I've heard they've had trouble with barnacle spores outside the containment area. So again, you're going to see... Um, you're going to see what I Doesn't see in terms up. of... Like, doubt it. the thing is, there isn't, there isn't latency. But I can't show you without creating latency. That's the problem. So I'm showing you what's seeing on desktop. I'm listening here through the headphones to desktop. Um, so actually, I'm not even using the audio Connor that's coming Adams across. Says, Please, he... Let's try, I think we should try like Beat Saber or something like that. What's a fun multiplayer game? I mean, I like, I like Rec Room. Rec Room's really good. Uh, things like Arizona Sunshine or Co-op. It depends on what kind of thing you're trying to go for. So, um, okay, so I've got Virtual Desktop running. I'm going to go ahead and try to launch something else. Anything LOL says, yes, Beat Saber. Now, uh, let's see here. Do I, where's my, where's Mr. Beat Saber? I have it here somewhere. Um, I need to quit this game first, actually. So let me do that. Go ahead and kill Alex. Sorry, Alex. Goodbye. Okay, so as we're just kind of doing this. Now, one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm actually interacting with my desktop um, while we're talking. That's how I'm actually able to switch the scenes, is I'm actually just like clicking Mystic things on my Max desktop says, to be able to really move stuff sure around. Are you really sure you do not feel any latency so. with virtual desktop? So I, I would say it's on that boundary of discernible latency. Like it is almost zero. It is like I'm a, I'm a Quake player. Like I play fast paced FPSs and I, I really don't feel latency. I play things like Solaris. I could show you that if that helps. Um, just to show you things. But yeah, really no latency. Um, like Paradise Decay is another guy who plays oodles of VR games. It's amazing. It's better, in my opinion, it's better than Link. It's visual fidelity. You can actually change some settings, so you can actually get it to perform even better. Um, and I'm happy to share those settings in a little bit. Sorry, I'm um, clicking around a little bit here. Andres and Castillo now you've seen says, my why play 72 instead of 90 HZ? So 72 is because my PC is trying to render 90 in Alex, and it takes more processing power from the PC while I'm encoding and doing other stuff. So if I can, I would kind of prefer to just have the extra push, the extra power uh, for the purposes of, you know, running the show or whatever. So ignore that. I'm just trying to get my scenes back in order. 
There we Thomas go. says, so. were you having issues in squadrons with the link cable? I wasn't having issues in squadrons. It just doesn't Thomas look very says, good in the link I cable. I caught you saying something earlier about the link cable and that it's broken. It's not, it's okay. It's got artifacts, right? And the coloring isn't quite right. And I'm using a cable that's not the fiber cable to be fair. It's not the official link cable. I'm using the um, power cable from the original Quest, which works fine. It works. But it's not as good as virtual desktop in terms of its quality. Dan so. Christian Zen says, can yeah. you play Arizona Q2 Coop HP G2? Anything um, LOL says, link looked that? a bit blurry for me today. All right, I'll, I'm going to see if I can run Beats. I don't even know if I have Beat Saber installed. Um, I wish I could show you this, but how I'm doing it at the moment. So there's a pop-out tray from virtual desktop called Games. And under Games, you can see your installed Mystic titles, Max says, actually. Did you know that Squadrons is actually only 60 HZ? Let's see if Beat Saber is actually installed. For some reason, I don't have Beat Saber installed at the moment, which I wanted to be able to show you, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you something. Oh, wait, I do. I'm lying. Ah, lying isn't good. Try not to lie to people. Then they hate you. Okay, <laughs> kicking it off. Beat Saber is launching. Now, this is an Oculus app, so actually I'm kind of curious. Now, I will show you. Just give me a second. I need to make sure that it's going to show you the game before anything else happens. Let me go ahead and get this up. As I said, tonight's a little bit weird because um, I'm restricted. I can't show you stuff that I'm seeing in the headset as readily as I normally would. So the problem is that what, what I end up doing is I'm showing you the desktop version of things that where normally I would show you it out of the headset. So you have to go back to like our other streams to kind of see what that looks like if you want to see exactly um, how that's going to look. Okay, let's see here now. That should do. I should do. Is that good? Almost. Okay. So we'll just go for here and we'll just do some Beat Saber and hopefully that will be good enough. Okay, now Beat Saber's got a new menu. Um, I'm just going to do like two tracks or something and then again keep sending me questions with them if you want works all right Watching the UPS truck is is what I I, how I do that well It's just one of those things like you gotta you know, let's see if I can recenter myself So again, this will be a test of really the latency and the sounds Like for the game and we'll just see how it works. Okay, so, uh, we've got online party solo. Now, this is Andres running off Castillo of Oculus Home. says, is 90HZ working on VR desktop or it's disabled too? Uh, at the moment, let me just check. I think it's disabled at the moment. I had, it says video frame rate, 90 FPS, and then frame rate, 73 FPS. I'm running a video bit rate of 90 megabits per second. I've been waiting since 9. Have you? <laughs> Bacon. Waiting, waiting, waiting. That's what's going to happen. All right, let's see. Other people are saying, um, Triple H says, if you use the USB 2 cable from the original Quest, the quality will be terrible. Chris you Richardson need a USB says, 3 cable. Chris Saber had a bloody contract. Yeah, I have had to one. agree to at the new launch The quality screen. really wasn't terrible. It was actually okay at the 100 and whatever. I had a bloody contract to agree at the new launch screen. I saw that, <laughs> Chris. Lime says, what <laughs> view are you on now? Oh, look at that. You see how it's like pulling on the side? Sorry about that. Ah, well, what is that? What is that? What is that? Did I feck with it? I might affect with it. <laughs> We're going to live with it for now because feck it. I don't really care. Mystic Max says, how old are you, Zim32? I am 35. Good guess. Good guess. I'm just going to hide and... We're going to... We're going to... This is called fecking it. Just Clutch make, Lime make says, it work. What graphics card do you play on? There's the bad bit. I'm on a 1080. Okay. So again, I'm zooming in a little bit here just for the purposes of demonstration. You get a little bit of better. But look, here we go, right? Here's the waggly wand. Pretend I'm holding it. Waggly, waggly, waggly. Zip, 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 zip. You can see the kind of... This is a demonstration of how, um, how latent it is. Like, actually, you know what? If we want to do something even more fun, I can uh, bring another 
one of me in! Looks very good. It's like milking the cow, right? Milk the Beat Saber cow. Milk it for that money, baby. More DLC, more BLC. Oh yeah! Bring that money! Bring that sexy Beat Saber money! Squirt it all over me. All right. Dual Zim for Beat Saber stream song number one. And then we'll go back to normal afterwards. <laughs> Thomas says, Some say I am insane. really weirded out right now. Some say, the man is not right in the head. Some say, he's a fucking lunatic. Right, what are we going to do? Let's go for country round. No. James says, this seems loud. Is that pretty loud? It's okay. Beat Saber. Expert. Let's go. Says, Let's go. I want you settings. Let's do it. I have met settings, but MB is confusing. Roy Corpus says, it's okay for me. Now, I'm not a Beat Saber guy. Don't expect amazing things. I can't just play anything, unfortunately, because of copyright stuff. Now, I don't know if I could expert. If you're seeing lazy, it's probably me. And I could probably do this in a better way if I'd planned this. Fuck. Okay. Maybe I'm a problem. Maybe I'm the one. I've, uh... Mystic Max says, which one of you is you? Can I turn down the music? Barbara Theron says, the older you are, the worse you will be at Beat Saber. <laughs> Not necessarily. Joe Nadal says, Not necessarily. play Escape. Uh, hmm. All right, we can do escape. Oh, that's a good one. Good choice. I like it. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on a second there. Uh, I'm gonna... James says, is it 72 hertz at full resolution of the Quest 2? Hold on. Hold on. Says, hold on. I am finding I kind of like the white. You're finding... I, I like the white as well. I think the white is quite good. Sorry, I'm just trying to get myself back into... Joe Nadal says, There's a whole bunch of different... I love that song. I'm only playing that. That's a great song. Good choice. Thank you. Giovanni Rodriguez says, Hi, Zay. Hey, how's it going? You guys are all so nice. Thank you for being nice. Have you guys heard of B-Grip? It changes your game. You do this. It's great. I might be wrong. This might not be, this might be A-Grip. You're like Wolverine. Like a cat. <laughs> Shit, I missed. That's because I'm occluding part of the tracking ring. I I I like it as well. All right, I gotta change back. And you can see I don't use straps. Bad boy. I know. Can't believe you got me in a Beat Saber two nights in a row. Focus on the song. Shaggy 
No, no. Yeah, multiplayer is good. Tricky bastards. This lady sounds like somebody I'd marry. In a better land. Be like, hey, you want to get married? And she's like, yeah, but just not here. We're standing in Tesco. Can we not? Can we not? I love how they cleaned up the interface. Says, I prefer Oculus Beat Saber so I can play anywhere. Yeah, you mean Oculus says, Quest. So no lag at all. Yeah, okay, so I would say, Shady and I think it's says, because of the headphones. My VD is super shoppy even though I got 866 megabytes. That's weird. But what are your settings? Like, do you have the settings all cranked up? Because you need to back those off a little bit. So I'll tell you the settings that I tend to use. Uh, probably, I think it's about, what is it, what is it, what is it? So streaming, 91 megabits per second. Uh, I can actually reduce that if I wanted to. VR frame rate, you can reduce down as well. I would recommend if you want it to be super solid, Jan just reduce Riddle things says, to like medium I have settings. No money for both. I requested refund for okay. VD. Virtual Jan desktop. Says, so I can play super <laughs> Wait, so you, you bought it and you didn't have the money for it, so you, so you sent it back. Now look, I'm trying um, a Bluetooth headphone at the moment so I can both hear you and the game. Now I'm gonna set that down for a second and I'm gonna go back to my wired audio solution for a second. Now these are the Sennheiser Game 1s. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna see if it's a virtual desktop delay or if it was audio delay causing me having problems. Okay, I'm just gonna pick a different song. Um, what do we want? Let's go for Track Pack 2. Uh, Jan Nadel says, I wanted to try it. Oh, I'm hearing I had 1,200 MBS, it was fine, but not All of my computer audio is going through the headphones. Shit. Uh, what I can do, I know what I can do. I can go off of the actual quest. Oh, let's go Amit dodgy. Says, oh my god, this is going to hurt me. No. If you use wired <gasps> headphones. Oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> All right. All right. No, we're not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not yet. Not yet. Not gonna do it. I was, I was tempted, lads, ladies. I was, I was tempted. I was tempted to open the box, but I, I can't. Not yet. Not yet. We're not ready. We're not ready. We're not. That is not right. That is not right. Something is wrong. Horribly wrong on that scene. What's the point in VD if you use wired headphones? Um, because you can't play. It's not just to have wireless, right? I love audio, so. My audio is very good, but if you if you want a game to run in the panel, Jan Nadel says that looks amazing. Well. Your virtual desktop, and if you if you want, sorry, I, I never use these, but because these are terrible, people. I honestly cringe at people who do this, but I'm going to do this, and this is I'm taking a sacrifice for all of you. Okay, this is testing uh, the latency because. <laughs> So basically the PC is sending not only the visual stream to the headset, which is what you can see, it's also sending the audio signal. But I had turned the volume way down. Now let's see, will this actually function? Can I hear? If I click, I hear a little bit. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Yeah, I got the power. Okay, I can. I got the power. It doesn't seem very good. Don't know why that is. Hmm. Okay. What can I do? I've got another. I've got another headset. Let me try something else. I'm trying different things here because I want to get the best possible experience. Now, as I said, I've I've got two of these headphones sets because this is the cheap one. This is the one that doesn't have um, noise canceling. It's like I don't know, eighty or something like that for this headset. And this is the one that introduced me to the 450 BTs, which are a great headphone and I really enjoy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wire this up. Again, I'm trying to get out of out of virtual desktop the audio so that we can just How hear do it you straight. Stream this? 
How do I stream this? Well, this is easy. This is just virtual desktop showing on uh, my desktop. So this is uh, OBS Studio is what I use. John Nadel and says, that's basically it. There's, there's no, there's no magic, not on tonight's stream. Other streams, I use, I use some magic. But tonight's stream, this is just normal desktop streaming. I could be playing StarCraft uh, or Fortnite if that wasn't the game from Satan. So, let's see. Right, okay. So, headphones ready, directly cabled. Let's just restart. And... That's better. Yeah, this is good. So, if, if you're gonna do it... If you're gonna do a game that requires... So I've wired audio to the headset. It's got a single 3.5 mil jack. This is perfect now. Not as convenient as the APTX, but... So again, what's the difference? I'm playing Beat Saber, which is available on Quest. This is a horrible demonstration, but somebody wanted it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try some other stuff here in a second. If you wanna get a question through, I'm in front of your message. I love the down up in this song. John Nader says, GA and Gunna go to sleep at 1140 p.m. for me. Good night then, yeah? I got a limited power. This is the last of Beat Saber. We are done with this game. He's like. I love the thing. I love that they're like, they're so full of themselves with this track, you know what I mean? It kind of is. Now the thing is, I can hear the headset, but I can no longer hear you. What difficulty is this? This was just like normal. Um, anyway, it is what it is. I missed a block. Fact my life, you know? Haha, -ha, that was Beat Saber. Okay, so, now that we've Lord done Hawker that. Says, it is a good game to lose weight. It's a good game to lose weight. I agree, there's a bunch of different <laughs> box VR is another one. A um, whole bunch of different games actually are very good. Mystic for Max weight. says so. Phasmophobia Zim. Phasmophobia? There is another good loot weight loss game. What? Wait, maybe not. Why would you say that? I will be playing Phasmophobia with the F Reality guys. We we planned this before Phasmophobia became a thing, um, but now we're going to do it like the end of the month, probably the twenty fifth. Keep your calendar open. Your calendar open. This is the fucking meeting calendar open my uh, anyway all right adam says let's do the box quest needs to see a doctor my quest i uh, no we're not gonna do the box we're gonna wait we're gonna wait we're gonna wait we're gonna <gasps> ah shit i just made the box bigger now they fuck it now they're gonna want it right so we've shown beat saber we've shown a little bit of alex virtual desktop Malik warren says does pc keep oculus 2 charged I'm going to keep this uh, headset cabled, by the way, just, just for now, because it's um, Curtius makes it easy. Says, Sennheiser is go turtle beach is shit. There was, no, there was no issue in delay. As long as I'm connected to the audio on the Quest, which is coming over via virtual desktop, things are fine. Things are absolutely fine and sync and everything. Everything sounds N0 great. W0LF says, can you stream Oculus Store games? Yes, some. Some. Actually, this is the next test. I'm going to try says, from other sons. Box. It didn't work for me before, and I was heartbroken. So this is the this is the feckin' weird part, um, which I don't like about virtual... Now, virtual desktop is great. Gives you your whole Steam library. Play all the Steam stuff you want. Uh, let's, let's actually do... Before I do the Oculus Home test, 
I'm going to start off with something that I think people should see, uh, which is um, Vertigo 2 demo. Okay, the Vertigo 2 demo. So I'm going to go and kick that off, and we're going to see how that works for us. Okay, so just give me a second. I get things all nice and hunky dory, and then you'll be able to see it. Factory Life says, What's in the box? That's the question for tonight. What is in the box? What's in the box? It'd be great if we knew. It would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love to know. Love to know. If only Zim would tell us. It's in the goddamn box. It's something I'm very excited about. Very excited about. Ah, uh, that looks kind of small. <laughs> what are you doing, game? Hang on. No, nope, same thing there. Well, that's bizarre. Fuck it. Vertigo 2. I don't know what's happening. Something's not right. This is Vertigo 2. Welcome to Vertigo 2. Hmm. Is there a significant difference in graphics between Quest 2 and Quest? Yes. There actually is. Now, this game is sweet. This is free. This is, um, this is something you can get on Steam. It's Vertigo 2 Beta. This is supposed to come out this year. I don't know if it's going to. Um, I'd love it if it did. This game is sweet. Aspiat says, are you playing at 90HZ? Graphics. <laughs> I guys make beautiful. Uh, screen shake, normal. Saturation, co sensor cognito hazards. The feck is that? Am I playing at 90 hertz? Uh, I am. I shouldn't be, but I am. Um. All right, Curtis for our non-English friends, we're going to turn on captions. Does Oculus Link support 90Hz? Does Oculus Link support 90Hz? I think it needs to be patched to be able to support that. I don't believe it supports it at the moment, but I don't know. That is not my, um, that is not my forte. Okay. So, begin your adventure. Let's go. This game has amazing comedy. I love this game. It's really cool. It's really good. Also, Vertigo Remastered is really good as well. Get up. Wake up. Come on, I've got other things to do today. I saved your life. Show the live ball. I screwed up the internet again. Again? Damn it, Leo. We've been over this a Curtius Brownington says, How Black. can I play Beat Saber on 90HZ Diver? I'm on Quest and Steam and I have Link Cable. I have Quest and Steam, and I have a link cable. Hmm. Don't think I can answer that question for you. Sorry. Hey, Brian. How's it going? What? Hey. What's up? Brian. What, Leo? I'm in the middle of fixing the internet to Gary. Competent. Oh, shit. She's awake. Uh, hello there, buddy. Hello there. Shut up, Leo. Leave us alone. The humans need to talk. Oh, fine. Hi. Welcome, young lady, to Brian Industries headquarters. You may say, I've never heard of Brian Industries. And don't worry, I won't take offense, because Brian Industries is secret, secret, very secret organization. My work is a little risque for the general public, and I prefer the privacy Adam of security. Says, can you make our FOB higher? Problems. The Nanobot should finish patching yeah, your noggin soon, but... In it's meantime, weird. Would you like me to fill you in on what it's weird, Adam. I don't know why it's like showing in a funny window. Um, okay. Let me try something. Again. This is a quantum reactor. Basically, a giant machine that exploits instability in space-time to create energy from nothing. Oh, well, here we go. Accurate, it leaches energy from parallel universes. In one of those strange alien worlds, one where human technological development is centuries behind and it's taken you until the 20th century to even get to the moon, you were born. Fast forward, you probably made an ass of yourself chasing shiny lights into the woods. The shiny <sighs> lights were the extraspatial singularities Bonnet of this Baron quantum reactor. Is that working? Do you know exactly what universe. the Guardian issue is at 98Z? Too close to the equivalent space-time coordinates of the reactor core as it cycled, the quantum activity in your brain triggered a class 8 matter exchange event, which pulled you over here into our lovely, lovely Better. world. From that point on, I've been checking on you through the security system. 
you arrived on the fifth floor right next to my faked corpse and foolishly tried to... Yeah. Um, there was a settings thing. This yes, is the one service. problem. You bumbled your way up through all the floors fighting the weak security robots that they put up... Nope. ...there for show. And we're fortunately stopped by my... Uh... All right, let me out of here. Skip intro. In fact, the intro. You can watch it another time. What was that? Right, welcome. Zulabo Productions. As I said, it's a very good demo. Freebie gives you like an hour and a bit of gameplay. Good humor, good characters. <laughs> Uh, good, good demonstration for virtual desktop, but it's like, this is not Quest graphics, right? And then this panel looks really good. Nice poppy colors. I like all of this, you know? Looks really good. This game is Vertigo 2. It's a free demo on Steam for the game that's coming up at some point soon. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jacko. Jacko the tobacco. He's not good for your health. The Surgeon General has a warning on Jacko. And says, do not consume too much Jacko. Ladies, do not consume too much Jacko. Hate fear. Blank, 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 blank. Whoa! Shh. What are you doing? Don't do that. Hacho says, hey, Please. Zim, it's me again. How's your day doing today? Good, Hutch. Good. Having a good one. Showing off the virtual desktop. I'm a big fan of virtual desktop. And then guess what? You're gonna be too if you have a 64 gigabyte Quest 2. Cause you're gonna fill that thing up and you're gonna be like, can I use my grandma's computer to play some Minecraft? You can, you can, absolutely. Yeah, it's going well. The end of the introductory elevator ride. I gotta tell you, I got really excited when I heard that you were here. Brian's great and all, but he's just so Hacho busy with his says, work. He barely I do has any time on for me. It's pretty ha -ha. boring. Oh, well, come on, come on. Don't be shy. I promise I won't bite. Will it help you if I told you I had guns built into my hands? Darius, stop! Whoa! Darius, put those away. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't want to shoot our guests, do we? No, sir, Brian, but I assure you... Uh, well, anyways, I'll try my best. Sorry, that was embarrassing. Well, let's get a move on. Hey, it's so Blair! The whole of wait, wait, no, wait. It's Almost Blair. It's impressive you survive this long, no matter what Brian tells you. Those bots on the upper floor may be stupid as hell, but they're sure of a lot of them. Did you know that their artificial intelligence See, was written by... I shouldn't have been... I'm sorry! What the hell? Shows, Brian reprogrammed me and Leo with the sapiens to be his assistants, and a bunch of others to be a service. He thinks they're cute. Real science Pete. He knows science. He knows science and he is Pete. 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 I love it. Dan love it. Christian Zen says, new headphones in the box, Zim. Ah, uh, Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. You might be the man. We'll find out later. Maybe it's a Trojan box. Oh, these are some of Brian's long-term experience. Brian has been studying the alien life forms that are pulled here by the reactor, identifying and categorizing universes and so on. But luckily, we already know a lot about your universe, and we know you're just about genetically identical to the humans here. Otherwise, you'd be in one of those freezers. Brian has documented over 700 species from at least 73 alternate universes. He's working on research to determine why there's such a diversity of the alternate Earths. The best theory so far is that about a billion years ago there is... Oh, here's the shooting race. Let's take a look in there. We'll get you armed up and trained. It's not a friendly world down there in the reactor, and I'm sorry to say that your troubles are far from over. Okay. Here, come over to yeah, Vertigo 2 is pretty awesome. Right here. I won't play this too much more. You want to play this. Possibly defining your entire journey here. They got cool guns and stuff in this as well. I love this. I love the characters, like the broken robot. No, what's that piece of junk doing here? No, that's ridiculous. We wouldn't possibly have you fight deadly aliens in a high-tech facility using a crowbar. That would be absurd. And here you go. State-of-the-art triple-point plasma condenser. Also known by its slightly cooler street name, the Ionizer.
Go ahead. Doctor Oculus the VR says, I think it's Nath's mustache in a Sennheiser box. <laughs> it is mustache in a Sennheiser box. Yeah, that's a pretty sick gun. All right. Good shooting. You'll be murdering robots in no time. You Thank know you. what? I think that's enough violence for now. Why don't we go on a nice, long, relaxing tour of the rest of the place? Uh oh. Have a. Right, are you there? Please respond. How was that? Bad news. The core just cycled and the Earth's mantle happens to be reflecting and concentrating subatomic resonances right here in this cavern. Oh dear. Yeah, we're already getting minor MXEs. I'm gonna head up to the roof and we're in trouble. Up there. You assemble the force inside, just in case we get any anomalies in here. Roger. Any anomalies. Okay. Uh oh. I've totally forgotten what happens in this game. Is a portal? Whoa! Come on! This game, Vertigo 2. Come on, dude! Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> right. So far, having a good time. But as I said, like, you can use virtual desktop and it is beautiful. Looks great, no artifacting. Better than a USB 2 link cable connection. See a robot? Oh god. This doesn't look good. I don't know if I should go further. Facebook or bust indeed. It's uh, one of those things. Look, I won't spend all night playing this. You guys can play this. This is Vertigo 2. Thought we'd uh, try out a couple of other games just to show you the uh, that it works. It works well. What if I get another... Am I supposed to push one of these things, or...? Nope. Guess not. Let me just come over here. What is that? Ah! Shit! Bottomless pit. YOLO! Kinda happened what I expected, to be honest. But wait, how did I hit the bottom? It's supposed to be bloody bottomless. It's not good. Um, what? The first cycles were quiet. What the feck? What was that? What was that about? Fucking weird. Oh. Can the quest two overcharge? What the hell was that? No, it's it's as far as I'm aware, the quest and quest two have both been fine charging overnight and stuff. Never had a problem. I'm going to go ahead and kill that off, and we're going to go ahead and do something else. So, 
Hope you've been enjoying the Quest 2 stream so far. Uh, it does have built-in charge protection. Thomas Good. says it does have built-in charge protection. Good. If you make a fake account and Facebook realizes they can delete your account. I've already seen examples of that happening, so do be careful. I would recommend if you're if you're committed to the Facebook thing and you already use Facebook, you're unfortunately going to have to latch your account to your real account. But you could lose both in one go, and that's the thing that people have been worried about. So just be aware of it. Just be aware of it. It's something you need to think about and be like, am I comfortable with this, or is this something maybe not comfortable with? So just determine that way. Can you run Discord on virtual desktop while you play games? Shall I try? Let's see. I'll run virtual desktop. Sorry. I'm running virtual desktop right now. I'll go ahead and open Discord. If someone would like to join the Discord, uh, we, can, uh, we can prove it right now. So come join Discord. Okay. I'm going to go to hop in. You may or may not hear me, though. Maybe, uh, how's this going to work? Where are we going? Stream. Pop myself in there. Yeah, you should hear me. I've got a desktop mic, but it's all the way over here. Um, go ahead. Des uh, Discord.zimtalk5.com. Someone come join me, just for a quick test. You'll be able hey, to hear me on this. Hello? Oh, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's, what's going on? I think it's working. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Well, that was a good demonstration. I think it's... Uh, so, yeah, someone, uh, just to clarify, uh, is that Corey? Hang on, who is that? Well, this is the Dastros. I don't have... Oh, a Dastros! I'm not using a good microphone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's just because I've got a different audio uh, profile, and Adam's in there as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, it's going so far. So you got your headset anyway. Good man. I do. Yeah. I will... I will uh, trying to uh, trying to get used to it again. I will chat your... <laughs> yeah, used to it again, as in the stomach? Uh, no, I think the stomach's okay, but just because, uh, you know, I was having issues with my original one with my glasses, so I'm having kind of the same, but that's getting fixed soon, so I think it's all issues that can be resolved. Do you have the, are you using the spacer? Because I'm not a glasses wearer, and people are interested in, like, is the spacer effective for a glasses wearer? Um, yes, but my problem is my glasses are too close to the screen, so okay. I'm getting a blur in the middle of the screen. In the middle of my view on both sides okay um and that'll be resolved with the glasses adapters that the little cups that go on to the screens that come in the in in the add-on pack or whatever it's called no this no, one's the prescription else. lens like there's okay. a, it's a, the aftermarket company that makes the cups that drop over the lenses yep i know them yeah exactly yeah. but that's that's really important because a lot of people wear glasses i'm i probably yep. need to some point soon my, my vision's slowly going all this time in vr you know um, but it's good. It's good. You're mentioning that. That's Adastros, by the way. Check him out. Adastros Gaming. Um, we, Thanks, can, we gotta we gotta play some squadrons or something at some point. Once I finally get through this wave um, no. of Quest Two nuts, like oh man, not even seeing my family. We're just, Solaris too. I'm loving crazy. Solaris. Solaris is so badass, man. Literally my yep. favorite game this year. I think it's yeah, amazing. It's, it's great. So easy to get into. All right, and uh, it is. It is my friend who had never played VR ever put it on and was like vip top of the list i'm like well all right cool you go play it then jesus <laughs> that's the way all right i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going lance thank you for the discord right, test have a good night yep have a good one bud cheers all right so there you go that was Adastros. thank you very much Adastros and adam for hopping in appreciate that that was cool um so there's your answer i like doing live answers it's always good so you ask i answer that's how this works all right, 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 right. What else have we got? Um, I'm never going to remember that you're Tom A. I'm just not. That's this, this, not, not, how, not how it works. So I'm, again, doing stuff in the headset. Let's come out, and why don't I feckin' finally show you what's in the box. And then we'll continue with some other stuff. Thomas says, it'll make sure to have the chocolate voice microphone next time. <laughs> you sounded good, man. You sounded good. No problems there. None at all. Definitely. All right, so again, what I was doing, you can see here, the the headphones come with this like little cable that's flat, 90 degrees, it's like perfect. I have a review on these. These are Sennheiser 450 BTs, which are great for the money, for 150 or something. Um, they're really good. Now, I do recommend them for Quest. They, they, they pair with Quest and your, your phone and all these different things. There's loads of different applications. Now this is the kind of wired bit, right? So um, we don't need that wire anymore. Taking that out, throwing that away. Don't need 
that right now. Okay. So, aside from that, the piece de resistance, the, uh, the thing that I've been waiting for all night. Um, someone send me a message with them, please, because I need to just test if that's working. So funny. Vertigo crashed on me. Of course it did. Of course it did. Um, right. N0 Kernel W0LF says, Rec Room Devs say Quest 2 launch 2.5 times bigger than original Quest. 2.5 times. I totally believe it. And the original Quest was Adam like hot says, shit as well. Have you tested if Bluetooth audio causes the whole device to lag like with Q1? Yeah, it does. Uh, it's, it's not everything. So if you use Bluetooth audio, like you're playing Beat Saber, the blocks are like juddering at you. Uh, the same thing is there on Quest. As I said, give them time to sort out the Bluetooth bit. This thing does have an XR2 chip. It might work quite well. Don't know. I'm just going to disconnect um, Virtual Desktop for a second because Virtual Desktop likes to feck with things and I think it causes stream stutter every so often. It's just like a little streaming profile thing. And then we're going to go ahead and sort the box and stuff. Okay. So that's out. Very good. And actually while we're here, I might as well just pop it on. Do I have the charger? Heck it, I'll just connect it to something. Right. So um, let's go ahead and do the next thing. So this is the fun part in the middle of the stream where I can show you something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. These are great. I like those headphones. They're really fantastic. Have enjoyed them a lot. Um, they're a great little headset and they are what they are. But, but you know what they say, go big or go home. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, there is something a little bit better than these headphones in this box. And did I just sweat mark the box with my sweaty headphones? Bollocks. I guess it happens. <clears throat> I'll rub that out later. Or maybe now. Ah! Okay, so these, my friends, are the headphones that I've been waiting for. Bought them used. I'm in the way of the light. I'll get out of the way. Bought them used. Um, and yeah, let's open. Been looking forward to these. So. This is a classic headphone. Sennheiser has been manufacturing this headphone for 27 years. I've bought a used pair and they are amazing. Uh, I tried them this afternoon with CWD some music says, and it's a bunch a of foam box. that so nicely has fallen in front of me. Right, so this headphone is the HD 600. So they are, uh, these are definitely an audiophile grade headphone. Um, let me see if I can show you up close a little bit about how they run. Let's go. Let's go. So this is something that I picked up because of the, um, the open back nature of the headphone. I wanted to get headphones where I could not only listen, uh, but also play. Now the, the headband is this weird, like four segmented thing. This is so comfortable. It's ridiculous how like lightweight and comfortable this is. And it's got this weird, like, this is like a countertop from the nineties. If you were, you know, alive in the nineties, that's the nineties in a color, the HD 600s. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to actually be using these with the quest two and see how they drive. I've driven them fine Hacho from says, like an iPhone six and stuff, but this is going to be my new headphone set. Yeah. I've got an amp. I've got a good amp. Um, it's not the heaviest of amps, but it's meant to pair OK, which is the FIO E10K. That's connected to my computer. But actually, I was listening to these things uh, earlier, and thankfully, the thing is when they're, when they're burned in, so someone else has actually, um, you know, someone else has actually already done the, done, done the due diligence for me and actually burned them in, then it means that I can, um, I can listen to them now, and they're, they're great. Now, it's got a 10... I'm going to get a custom cable for it. One of the things that's maybe a disadvantage of these headphones is the fact that they have a um, kind of an extended cable or whatever. 
So let's let me just show you there up close again, just real quick. So there's the headphone. Um, that's the grill. It's very breezy kind of thing. So they just disabled virtual desktop 90 hertz streaming yesterday. Is it fixed yet? There's a workaround, Tyler, uh, which I heard of. I haven't used it myself just yet. Um, but yeah, that's them. So as I said, used headset. This used to be manufactured in Ireland. They now manufacture a new model of this in Romania. And I specifically wanted to go for an old version. So these are not... Um, these are not like a new model. These are these are like, you know, after 25 years of production, this still came out of the die cast and the molds. So I went for the old one, um, and that's what I wanted specifically. So came in immaculate condition. I paid 230 for them, used new a couple years ago. These were like 600 quid, so I'm very happy. This is like, and then the way they sit on your head, that's just like, oh, it's gorgeous. They actually, they look good and all that, but this cable's too long. It's like, uh, this is the cable that should have shipped with the Quest, you know what I mean? But yeah, I just, CW I love this stuff. The thing is, the 600s are fantastic. Uh, use them the with a Fio Q5 in your pocket while questing. Ah, oh, okay, I might do the Fio Q5, because I've been looking for Fios. Now I've got, um, here, I'm going to show you something that nobody wants to see. I'm going to show you something that literally nobody wants to see. You're going to see these headphones more. This is not the point of tonight, I just wanted to quote unquote, unbox them, right, and uh, do that. I'm gonna show you my setup down south. So for those who, who don't know audio, the detail level and um, just the general audio fidelity that you can get is pretty impressive. So I'm sorry. Oh, shit, we're desk diving. I almost knocked my uh, camera stand over. So what is under here, under the desk? Okay, so here you go. Here's under my desk. There is, oh, it's hard to see. Do I have a source? Hold on, we can rectify this, no problem. This is like super dodgy cam time. This is what this is, hold on. I'll we'll point you back at the desk for a second. I need light. Look, where's my, where's my phone? There we are. So, uh, this little phone light. This is gonna be dodgy, but here we go. All right, there you go, look at this. Crazy thing. There's my Fio. That's the adapter. This looks like super dusty because of the light, but hey, it is. Splitters going, splitters going out uh, to the back. That's the rig that I stream from. Look at it. It's not pretty. Look at that. Oh my God. What is he doing? Look at that. It's like a mess down there, but it is what it is. You know, uh, if you think that's bad, there is a lot worse in this bad cave. I'm telling you. Like, for example, what's above my head. Some of you have seen it. Um, but I'm going to show you here just because it's fun. Hold on. Let me just see. It's going to... I think it's captured. Okay. Here we go. This is terrible. This is my lighting solution. I told you it was bad. See how bad that is? Look at that. What has he done? He's bastardized an EGX press lead. There's some blue tack. He's screwed in to the ceiling. Oh my god. But what this does is it gives me a consistent profile of lighting into my stream area and the light that bounce back, bounces back at me is consistent. And so I was having all kinds of problems. That was a solution. It's a messy solution, but it works. Can't really argue with a solution that works. So that is that. Don't you lose game saves. What, going from thing to thing? You actually See, don't have to necessarily. Says. Lose. Dude, Game you need a, 3D need a 3D printer, printer for, for sure. Uh, I have a printer, but not a 3D printer. Uh, there's a, looks like a bachelor pad. Thanks, Dean. It's my office. It's fine. Everything else is tidy, but the stuff that you don't see, not so tidy. Right. Um, next game. You know, virtual desktop again. Okay. Now, virtual desktop again. And um, Thinking, thinking, thinking. Virtual desktop, what games have we not done? I wanted to do Don't Look Down. I wanted to try Sprint Vector, maybe Lone Echo, a few other bits um, that we have as well. So is it worth getting the 256? Yes, if you're gonna play a lot of, uh, if you're gonna play a lot of particularly VR games on the Quest, natively on the Quest, then yes. The 256 is what I've gone for. 
um, and I totally recommend it. It's great. The Elite Strap as well, fantastic. I'm so happy I bought these. The case is a bit naff, but I think with something that's this awkward shape, you maybe should just go for the case after all, if you're going to be traveling with it at all. So that's 500 quid for four, it's 400 for that, 50 for that, and 50 for the case, which I don't have here. It's my other room protecting my other quest. So is what it is. What bit rate for VR streaming do you recommend for a balance of quality and latency? Carl, it very much depends on your machine and your Wi-Fi. So, and how far away your Wi-Fi box is and all that. Just, just play around. I like middle settings more than I like high-end settings from my environment. Five gigahertz router and a few other things. Let's go ahead and try something else out. I'm demonstrating virtual desktop tonight because it's an easy thing. Let's actually go for Minecraft next because I think that's a good example. If I've got, if I've got Vivecraft installed, this will be a good one. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this will be a good one to kind of demonstrate if our servers are online, oh, I don't know if they are actually. Okay, well, I can always do Vivecraft and then just play single player. So we'll do that. Um, if I don't have it set up for mixed reality, there's a whole bunch of things that I should have thought about before trying to do Minecraft on the fly, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, just for those of you who are like, yeah, Minecraft. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 okay, what do we got? Uh, I think if you've got a Quest 1, there's, it's not like a mandatory need to kind of upgrade, you know what I mean? I would still recommend upgrading because I think that you can get the best deal for it. I don't think it's a must-have. Yeah. Okay, let me see if this is still working. I should still, I should still be able to hear you just fine. Let's go ahead and launch this up. Okay, virtual desktop, and then we're, we're in it to win it. Very good. Very good. Mr. Bull, how's it going? It'll be interesting. Heard the Java mod is better than the official VR version. I've never seen the official one. I'm not looking at the official one. I am using Vivecraft. Yeah. Because Vivecraft forever. Back in Vivecraft. Yeah. Does the Oculus Quest 2 still cost 349 pounds? It's 300 pounds. Yeah. For Vivecraft. So, okay. So I, I'm connected. Steam VR has my headsets. Just making sure. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you. Play Vivecraft. Okay. Now i got to find a way to show you Vivecraft, um, which I can do. Here. With that game. Okay. Just waiting for it to load. Okay. It's going to look a bit freaky to start with, because I'm using a mechanism. All right, hold on, give me a second. I gotta, it's, uh, it's fecked up right now because I'm using a mixed reality thing. Is it? I am, yeah, okay. Let me change the settings and then I can show you what I'm seeing. Send me a message if you would, if anyone can send a message, just so I can make sure I can still hear you. Next reality view, mirror display off, mirror display dual, single, first person view. Okay, good, right, got it. Just gonna recenter myself here for a second. Didn't quite do what I wanted it to. Um, I will show you the game now. Okay. Now that we've got you, now I can show you. This is the problem if I'm using a different method to what I normally use. This is like doing stuff on the fly, which is okay. Kind of works, but it's not exactly what I'm trying to show. Hey, mate. Not allowed to use theirs till Christmas. Oh, I just I just gave a Quest 2 to my daughter. Um, I was like, because we had an extra one from Facebook. Here we go, multiplayer. Do I have, I don't think any of these are gonna be online. I think they're probably not online. So why don't we just jump into a standard single player, make it easy. Blueberry Plains, the feck is that? World was saved, okay. New world, so, feck it, leave it. <sighs> Create a new world. It's a whole new world. Wonderful. 
Oh, Minecraft. Oh, dirty, dirty Minecraft. So if you haven't seen Minecraft before in VR, um, yeah, this is just the menu. After they did like the underwater sea update and stuff like that. They've done all kinds of stuff. This game has a lot. It really does. Do you need Link to play PC games? No, I'm playing PC games right now. This is the whole point about Virtual Desktop. Uh, you don't need PC. Now it's loading, so let's give it a second because it's going to need some time. Uh, I also think that I have it probably on kind of shitey settings. Let's see if I can fix that. Make the video settings a little bit better. Graphics fancy, GUI scale 3, smooth lighting level. Everything looks like it's good. Render distance, okay. Um, they kind of look like there weren't, like the lighting doesn't look right, but it is Minecraft after says, all. Has he started playing Minecraft yet? I am playing Minecraft. Barnet yeah. Baron says, print out some invaders' eyes and stick them onto the front of your quest too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of decals. Like some people like to stick shit on their headsets. I like a pristine headset, to be honest. Now there's a few different ways you can do this. I can't remember how, how do I drop this? Drop. So I think I can just punch. Come on. This is like the manual fucking way of playing Minecraft, right? You do that, and as I said before, you can fucking get your groove on, or you can pull the button. You don't have to do with that. You can just sit here, lazy ass mother, and just, you know, let it do the work for you. And that works too. Bugs and VR says, that okay. looks like the way to pull a muscle. Now, oh, I think I told everyone that I would never do this again. Um, but what you can do in Vivecraft, which is evil, which I promised I would never do, but now I'm going to do it because you're here, is a horrible thing. Auto jump off. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? VR settings. There's this horrible thing. Uh, walking multiplier, walk up blocks off. If you do this, this is how you have to get up blocks. A lot of you have seen this. How are you going to get up a block? Fierce Lion 77 <sighs> says, can you play Roblox uh. wirelessly? Uh. <laughs> 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 now I fecked my knees up the other, ah, oh, feck it. It's like going forward and backward and stuff. But you can actually do that. You can actually, like, have to jump. It's really fun, actually. It can be can be really fun. If you're running along and then you're like, I'm just going to jump and skate or whatever. But if you want to play, you know, wireless Minecraft or whatever, you can. Old Vengeance says, can you change the pass through camera 250 hertz to prevent flickering with LED lights? Flickering? Uh, you're, again, you're asking me technical questions. Gavin Rice says, do you need a good PC to use virtual desktop? You, virtual desktop is not heavy. You just need to be able to run the games. If you can run uh, Pavlov on your PC, then you can connect your Quest. The thing that matters is your router. So it's not your PC performance settings. It's actually the quality of your router. It's... Um, it's it's set up, and if you can if you've got a five gigahertz router, then you're able to connect through without latency, and you get all this lovely stuff going. Now I'm trying to remember how do I bring up my bar or whatever. That's the oh yeah yeah okay. So I just use that, and then oak logs and stuff, and then I can get some planks. We'll just do a very basic thing. Here. Says, I just want to squish people LN Roblox. I just want to squish them. I'm the evil kind of human. It's okay. I'm like that too. I don't squish people. I do worse stuff. Right, okay. So now we got a crafting table. You grip, 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 grip or whatever to bring it up. Drop it down. I thought I heard a zombie. Maybe it was a chicken. Um, and then I can go ahead and create something. Now, for those who haven't ever played Minecraft before, I am creating the worst tool known to man. 
and women, uh, which is referred to as the shitty wooden pickaxe, uh, which is terrible. And uh, you don't want the feckin' wooden pickaxe because it doesn't do very much. You can swing it and it doesn't do anything, and you hit people with it and they laugh at you, and it doesn't do very much. So this is Minecraft. Um, one of the things that's really fun in Minecraft, okay, I'm going to drop this, because you've seen that, you don't need to see that again, is if you're able to get into the ocean and you can swim with the dolphins, that's feckin' fun. I'm going to show you that, and we're going to move on to the next game. Okay. So, there's some water. Some salmon. one st underscore zero zero one says, imagine playing CSGO with this. Now, again, you, you, you can play PC games, but I'll have to show you another night what that's like. All right, here we go. Now, watch this. If I stop pressing forward, I will sink. And if I don't press the analog stick at all, but I do swimming motions, can actually swim with the squid and the fish and stuff. Hello. And it's volumetric. You can see everything. Now you can turn off your shadow so you don't get that. What is this? Hello, little fishes. Oh shit, I'm drowning. No. Up. Up, you feckin' shit. Damn it. No. I'm gonna die. I'm definitely dead. Oh, boys. That's a good breaking point, I think. As I've just died. Fierce Lion 77 says, On Gim Defo playing MC with my brother, <laughs> LOL. Um, the nice thing is that you can make a server. I've actually got a, a thing about making, um, if you want to make a server, a VR server, just go to vivecraft.org. Get the Java edition of Minecraft, not the Win 10 version. And then you can play multiplayer. I have servers. Uh, we have a server, mc.zimtalk5.com. I think it's not up right now because my reruns PC, which is driving twitch.tv slash zimtalk5tv, a 24-7 reruns show. Um, yeah, so that was that. That's Minecraft. So any questions about that? Oh my god, I'm definitely playing Minecraft. Nice one, Fierce Lion. Um, is it worth it? Yes, it is. Unpronounceable Japanese name. Um, my wife would know it. The quality of your graphics card. Good point, Joshua. Good, good, good point, yeah. You don't need a 5 gigahertz router, but 2.4 isn't as comfortable. As I said before, I played from a hotel, No Man's Sky, 300 miles away from my PC, and it was a totally grand experience. It was very good. Okay, is the Vivecraft heavy? No. No, it's not. It's, it's, not. it's as heavy as... Um, so Vivecraft is just like a mod, essentially. So if you can run Minecraft, you can... You can run Vivecraft. That's nice. It's very good. Like it. Like it. Like it. Okay. What else have we got? Virtual desktop. Let's show you some more stuff. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go ahead. Well, we went into one thing. Let's show you something a little bit more excitable. Okay. I'm going to try Sprint Vector. Now, Sprint Vector is a, is a title that I want to come to, to Quest. At some Here's stage, it doesn't, says, it's not there at the Roblox. moment. Six gigahertz router really needed? Nope, not at all, Chad, not at all. You don't. You just need a five gigahertz. Uh, I think you're talking about a six. Um, so again, the XR2 chip can, can do faster speeds. You don't necessarily need it. There is a minor speed boost, but for the two to 300 quid you're gonna spend, I would say skip that upgrade for now. Don't do it at the minute. Was it a mistake ordering through Oculus? It wasn't for me. That came uh, on the day. So I liked it. It was, was really good. Get some quick degradation of the Wi-Fi signal. Yeah. Signal. Yeah, yeah. Very good point, Adastros. Be next to your router. So if you're like three rooms over. Yeah. Does the Oculus Quest have the problem with the others where the mic makes your voice like a robot? It does. Use aftermarket headphones. But when you're playing with other people, yeah, that can happen. And that's a bit annoying. Right. Let me just see here now. I'm going to try and capture here so I can grab the game for you. Okay. Sprint vector. Okay. Let me just see. Let me let me calibrate first and then I'll I'll uh, make this look a little bit prettier. Cuz I don't think it's in VR just yet. Okay. Go switch to VR. Out of that. 
Um, what is it saying? Calibrate. Hold trigger to calibrate. I don't know what's happening. Rest your arms down by your sides and stare forward. Hold trigger to calibrate. For yes, some reason, Lion this isn't in VR. Says, Do I need a leap strap or is default one okay? Default one's fine. Default one's fine. I'd say just get the normal one and then just see if you like it. If you're big into standing for multiple hours gaming, then I'd go for the elite strap as well. Yeah, for some reason, this isn't working very well. I'm going to quit this and run the Oculus app instead. That was the Steam one. I'll try that instead. Due to wavelength, 5 gigahertz is very close range. Yes. Hacho knows what he's talking about. Have you tried Stride? Nope, haven't tried Stride yet. I will, not tonight. I tend to like doing new stuff when Gio I can give it a little Rodriguez bit more time. Says, have you tried Stride? Yeah. Uh, Stride is, uh, is definitely something that I want to try, but I kind of have been letting it go for a little bit. I'm like, I'll just wait till I think it's ready. So I'm launching Sprint Vector now off of Oculus Quest. Sorry, off, to, off of Oculus Home on PC. Uh, it's launching, and I will uh, show you what that's all about in a second here. Okay. Amit Bar says, what is the benefit of running Oculus Store games through VD? Giovanni Rodriguez the says, benefit? not quite ripe yet. The benefit, um, so it's just playing games that are only on Oculus Home Store. So Oculus, Oculus have, um, have some exclusive titles available only uh, on their store. So again, it's giving me problems. I don't know why. This game doesn't seem to like it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going Here's on. I'm, I'm trying to get this working. Says, not... When I has a laggy laptop, Weird. Okay, I'm going to bail on Sprint Vector and we'll try something else then. Hmm. Happens sometimes. The next one I want to try because um, I think it'll work quite well with Quest. Uh, I wanted to try a few things like Gorn, stuff like that. Just uh, for a bit of fun. Let's see, do I have Gorn installed? I think I do. Make sure it's there. It is. Okay. Go ahead and try some Gorn. Gorn is a pretty violent game, but it is what it is. Hey, guys. Hey, Jacob. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's been one of those days. Like, I'm, I, the thing is, though, those headphones are amazing. It's great getting two quests. I've been having fun. Oh, shit. I heard Gorn, I saw Gorn, <laughs> and then Gorn disappeared. Um, let's go ahead and just get you Gorn. Gorn's nice. Generally Shaggy runs well. L says, right AM before your massage to let him hear it. Right. But, yeah, exactly. Press and hold to grab world. Oh. Hold and pull world. Okay, so is that, oh, that's, that's the only way, one way to move. Now I've got hands. <laughs> cool. That's how I get in. Okay, I haven't played Gord in ages. You think you are special? Do you even know fight? Make it this and show you no fight. Salute me. Andy and says. R.I.P. for all us Australians whose quests are stuck in Asia still. Oh uh, no, your quests are stuck! Bring it, Fecker. <laughs> okay. So, this is Gorn. They're throwing coins at me. Uh, good. Feels good. Feels good. <laughs> nice hands. Thanks. Alexander Jones says, is there a way to get medium on Quest 2 without Link? 
Is there a way to get medium on quest to that link? Says, yeah, I think so, Alex. Can you try Roblox next? Sorry if I'm an annoying ass. I can't do Roblox because uh, although Roblox I think has a VR mode, I don't have it installed. I don't have an account. Those kinds of things. And I really am not interested in it. Um, but if I had it installed, I would I would show you. I'm pretty open to those things. Berserker. What is all this? I don't... They, they keep changing this game. It's a little bit different to what I'm used to. Alright, let's see here now. You just like open the door, you go and you fight things. How's it going, Gustavo? You, you have what it takes to survive? Win your first challenge. Then you will become a fighter. Hold your weapon and salute. What the hell's that? Oh, I can... Is that... Intended? <laughs> Something's wrong with the wood physics! <laughs> Let's go. Keep, uh... That's a nasty little club, that one. Yeah. Giovanni Rodriguez says, oh, shit. Are you using over toolkit for chat? No, I don't use a... I use, uh... Come on. I use, um... Oh my god, look at that blood. Uh, I, I just use nose peak and Bell, my uh, text to speech engine. Hey. A Distros Gaming says a little birdie is telling me that Roblox in VR is horrible. In checking it out. Yeah, go check it out. Ah. Oh. Oh, his eyeball's hanging out. That's not good. So, uh, yeah. This is one of those lovely games, isn't it? Bye, dude. That's probably enough. Leave that at the scene of the crime. You've seen Gorn before. Run smooth. So, is what it is. How do you hook up my quest to my PC wirelessly? Rodax, so you need to buy virtual desktop. Take up your weapon. And then you sign up for an account with side quests. We have actually a bunch of questions we had at the start of the stream, which I didn't answer, uh, which were asked just while we were having some issues. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's super handy, really easy to do. Um, and then you're just totally wireless. Like I could walk into another room and go play. Uh, just need your controllers, your headset, and that's it. You can play with PC games. I sit down on the couch and I play StarCraft from downstairs up here. You can... Have your PC locked, powered Shadow on. says, should I return my link cable if I can just use virtual desktop? Chad, there's still benefits to having link, but in my opinion, I would be a Quest user natively on Quest first. Second, VD for doing things in a different room that I just want to, or when I'm away traveling and I want to connect back to my PC to play some PC games. Um, or three, link is good, I think, for... Um, your standard, if you have a high quality link cable, like the, the official one, which is quite expensive, it's like 90 quid, then doing racing or flying games and stuff like that, I think, is good that way. Um, yeah, so make your decision depending on how much you use it or don't use it, you know, whether or not you want to, want to upgrade. Uh, you have no well, idea. Pablo Gutierrez says, what happens when you cover the one camera on the guardian setup the guardian setup you want me to try that um see i'm not look you've asked me three four nights in a row i gotta just do it now because i haven't answered that question for you and now i feel bad so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that quickly for one okay so bear with me everybody thanks right right right, right. good all right <laughs> vitamin d suicide <laughs> goodbye sweet cruel world um it just blinds you on one eye adam you've tried this have you if you know then it goes that way right 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 good um fierce the lion 77 so. says in the uk we are gonna be off an extra week for halloween lol be off an extra week for halloween huh uh, that's good. 
All right, I'm gonna try the Guardian setup real quick. I am not showing this Giovanni to you. Giovanni Rodriguez says, but. does the tightening knob on the back feel like it will weaken over time? Uh, so far, no. It does feel sprung. It does feel sprung. So what that means is, um, sorry, let me, just, uh, let me just adjust my Guardian here. So you confirm the floor boundaries. And then you wanted me to cover one side, right? So, yeah, when you cover, when you cover one half, as Adam said, this half of the screen is now black. It's not showing me anything. This half is working. I can still draw with one side. Yeah, so I can draw, I can draw just fine. One side covered, it works grand. There isn't a problem. So even if the cameras were damaged on one side of the headset, um, it's functional. Okay, so there's your answer. Um, there you go. The one thing I would notice is the little dots that raise up don't show uh, when you're doing it. And again, I could normally show you this, but I'm not set up to do it just tonight because I'm set up for desktop mode. I could do it. It's just a pain. Not a big pain. Just a small pain. Okay. Virtual desktop. Let's try um, maybe an indie game, I think. Be a good idea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay i don't normally take on trolls but eddie dude dude uh bro fist dude i've got three kids so uh <laughs> hearts dude hearts all right Oh, I'll try another nerd, man. Alliance <laughs> 77 says, Fun. is virtual desktop free? Oh, sorry. Wait, let me spell that out for you. To have kids, it means you have to have a lot of sex, okay? So, just so you, in case you weren't educated properly yet. Hacho Fucking says, hell. when you have a vasectomy <laughs> and get called a virgin. <laughs> I haven't had a vasectomy. I am, uh, I am a fully functional male. I'll impregnate anyone who I like. <laughs> says, can you play on a bed sitting down? Just means the wife. Just means the wife. It's all good. I just love that stuff. It's fun. I just, I don't know. Sometimes, <coughs> we have, I have a big, big heart. Says, I big take heart. offense to that. I have a big heart um, for trolls. I do. Some of my favorite people are trolly people. So, as I said. Oh, welcome. You're very welcome here. Let me get virtual desktop running again. <clears throat> and then we'll uh, we'll do the next game. Okay. This this show's really like, in my opinion, I'm playing some games. You're watching me wiggle. You're seeing it work. In my opinion, because I've been using virtual desktop for so says, long. Can you play TTC? Uh, Trouble in Terrace Town? Or what is it? What the fuck? What, what's, what are we talking about? What are we talking? TTC. What the fuck is TTC? Don't know what that is. Hey, Viper. Hey, TTC. What the fuck is TTC? Um, don't know. I don't know what that is. Professional uh, simp says, "Can you play Final Fantasy XIV on it?" So it wouldn't be in VR, but you can. Play with a massive desktop in front of you. Says, like you're Has in the anyone cinema. gotten custom songs on Quest 2 Beat Saber yet? That beat that custom Beat Saber song, I need to figure that out because I don't know. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Now, where is this one? It was like Don't Look Down, I think is the name of the game that I'm looking for here. Uh, where Zerzu are you? says, Can you play Five Nights at Freddy's? That, oh, you don't look down. There we go. You can play that natively though. Right? What I'm trying to show you here is virtual desktop. Um, the other thing I wanted to... Here, I'll just... Nah, I'll leave it. 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 Anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Does virtual desktop downgrade resolution like the link? Professional simp says... Depending on your settings, you no. Chat? Depending on your settings, no. Now, I don't know if virtual desktop is be good enough for Mr. Viper. Viper is like professional... Barnett Baron says, will swapping between elite Snake. and default strap alert mess them up? Snake. Mostly it's just a snake. It's like very, very snake-like. <laughs> well, swapping between Elite and Default Strap messed them up. No, uh, they seem very well built. 
I've already swapped between the straps three or four times overnight, and they seem good. They seem good. So um, I would say no. I would say no. Philip Z says, how does the latency feel? It doesn't feel latent, is what I'm going to say. Now, I'm going to show you this game, which is a weird song behind it. Professional Simp says, I felt like VR chat is going to suck on it. Uh, VR chat, uh, VR chat has been okay actually. Uh, it, it it's better than it used to be. I mean, on on Quest it really wasn't very happy, but actually now it's kind of okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, resize this. I think, because that's what we want. Let's make it. It's weird. I don't know why it's this profile. They actually had a Quest build of this game and they got rejected. Fierce Lion 77 that, that says, why does every YouTuber I watch say the default strap is very uncomfortable? They're all lying to you because they just feel that way, I suppose. They're not lying to you, but um, you know, everyone's got different needs. I think the default strap is totally fine. Uh, hold pause to recenter. The fuck is pause? What does that mean? Professional Simp says, Will it have full body tracking? Uh, what is this? Comfort grid off. Skip tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Hold on. <gasps> I, I think it's not. There you go. It's the active window. Full body tracking. Full body tracking. It has hand tracking. I don't know if full body tracking is coming. Claire says I have an issue with Oculus browser in Quest 2. My IPD software change in video full screen. You can test this, please. Claire, um... I'm not sure what you're asking. Yeah, this this game is a little bit. What are you asking me? Hold pause. What does that mean? See, I can't hold that menu because that that stops me. How do I skip tutorial? If I just grab this, I want to see. This game has one of the cutest little dudes. Okay. Here we go. Down to Earth, Icicle Mountain, Vicious Volcano. Customization shop we don't care about. Let's just... So you grab these balls. The whole point of this is you don't want to fall. You don't want to... Let's just... You just grab balls. You'll see. You'll Dennis see what Anonymous it is. It's cool. Fan like says, Hello, I'm new. So, you grab him and then smash it. And you ha you, you can't... You don't want to fall and stuff. I really, and you can like jump and then grab. This is like an indie game. And you can smash bots into each other, right? But you can't. And then you're, the point is like, get through the level as quick as you can. Basically, it's called don't look down. And then if you got these, that's like special stuff. What just happened? Oh. Okay. Hudson VR says, I have not had any issues with the default strap either, but I want external battery. I want a Bitcoin! You want the external battery? Yeah, see, I, I want a battery that's... Now, this is like one of the easier levels, just mind you, okay? So, and it thinks I'm not in my play space. Or something. This is like clappy slappy. He's awesome. You high five him and you keep going. Dennis Anonymous fan NR1 says, Can you try Minecraft? We just did Minecraft. You just missed it. If you want, pause the live stream or come back a little bit later. What are we doing? Oh, we gotta go over here. So, I think you can walk a little bit or something. So, again, you're supposed to like. Just grip your way around. Why this didn't get approved? Probably the visuals and the graphics and stuff, but they, they really should release just to get their game out there and known. I think that it would be really advisable if these guys released on SideQuest, even if it was for free or even if it was like an itch project. This needs to be out. I really enjoy this game. This is a really simple... See, I just got armor. And then... You gotta like climb through stuff. It's just really fun, and you're supposed to go quickly. Professional simp says, 
can you play Beat Saber later? We did Beat Saber earlier. Keep trying. <laughs> uh, I only do it once in a go, you know? Just doing simple stuff. The standard strap is good or bad, depending on if it sits on your ears or not. Exactly, Hutch. That is exactly it. I think if it cuts into your ears, if you have high ears on your head, then I think it matters. Z I M. What is it? These little guys are all bobbing at my hands. That's me. Hacho says. It's fucking weird. How is menu. Elite dangerous? Elite's good. The the thing is, the text is like visible, like it is on a screen, and there isn't screen door anymore for me. Fierce Lion seventy seven says. This isn't the best I am example. I'm definitely of it. not gonna bring my quest to my cousin's house. They will just break it. Neutral smiley. <laughs> Go, go, neutral smiley. Take it off and let's get some head measurements for my head. All right, we're going to do a slightly more difficult level real quick. I just wanted to show this off because it can be kind of fun. Let's go Fiery Falls. I don't know how difficult this is, but I have a bad feeling it's going to be a lot more difficult than I'm ready for. Shit! Shit! Ah! Give me your handles! Okay. Move! Move! <laughs> ah! Fuck it! Okay. So, yeah, it's another indie game. Um, I like it. A lot of other people might be like, ah, but that's called Don't Look Down. Okay. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> I think it's important to show off like indie stuff. I really do. Is there a difference between the 399 one? Just the storage space. I can show you that actually at some stage here. Um, which I will do. Okay, okay, okay. That was, don't look down, um, cool, so that's what that is, yeah. Yes, your head. You want my head to be measured, and glue man, if you're going to be called glue man, you shouldn't eat socks, you should eat glue. That's the whole point. If you're named glue man, eat the glue. Which one do you have? I have the 64 and the 256, so I actually got two, that one, Professional that one. simp says... Which is the one you have? This is, so this is the Elite strap on the 256, which we just assembled last night. We've had a whole string of different streams, which we've done. And tonight I just wanted to show you off Virtual Desktop and talk about it. So let's actually talk about Virtual Desktop a little bit and just answer some questions. Because I did get questions a little bit earlier, and I think it's important that we're Chris able to, Richardson like, says, talk to those a little bit. I just got a fatal error trying the Oculus version of Archangel. Can you try? Install and try Archangel. Uh, maybe I'll try off stream, Chris. Again, that falls into the category of I don't like it. <laughs> Unless I'm thinking of a different game, I might be thinking of something else. Maybe I've never played Archangel, um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to try for you. How do I increase latency on virtual desktop? Whenever I turn, I get black bars. I've tried everything. That sounds like your CPU if your computer is having trouble. So let's answer some questions. First off, if you're going to buy virtual desktop. Which virtual desktop do you need to buy? So there are two versions. There's the desktop version for PC VR, and there's the mobile version. If you have any issue between those two, which one should I buy? Go to their website, brdesktop.net. Can it be used on Asus Zephyrus or on any other laptop? Uh, there's the website. Okay, so. Once you have the mobile says, version, it's the Mac game by the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners devs. That's the Mac game. Oh right, okay, Chris. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played it then. I haven't played it. Um, so once you have the mobile version, so either Go, Quest, Quest Two from the Oculus Store, um, then what you do is you go and you set up Side Quest, and that allows you to get to your Steam VR games. As I said, some. Oculus Home games will also appear, so you can play some of the Oculus exclusives on Quest 2 wirelessly, standing away from your computer, no wires. 
It's very good. Uh, I've done a couple of tests just to show you the kind of fidelity of the image. Compared to a USB 2.0 link connection, uh, which I found to be artifacted and the colors to be muted and not very, not very nice. Um, I find virtual Curtius desktop to be Brown very low latency and really DMR. good. Yeah, so it's really, it's really quite, um, it's really quite a good combination, virtual desktop and these things. Now, security questions. Side quest: When you're signing up, you have to kind of sign up for an account. If you're signing up as a developer, you have to secure it with a credit card or something similar to kind of prove you're a dev. Um, I wouldn't get too worried about that. This is just part of the, um, uh, the requirements that uh, Facebook have set up. They've kind of tweaked it a little bit to help clamp down on who's calling themselves a developer. But then you have side quest access. You can sideload to your quest and that's all like drag and drop, really easy browser. It's a great website. So I would check it out. That's side quest, one word. Do you need to buy Beat Saber? Uh, you can play the free demo or you can buy the full copy for access to extra songs and then they've got extra stuff. Thoughts on Catwalk C? Yuck. Uh, stay away from all treadmills. They don't feel good in VR. They look great when you try them. They're all naff. I haven't tried a single one that, that is good. I've even tried the Ready Player One one, which has the like moving, um, moving bars and stuff. Nah, nah. Um, sorry, no, I haven't tried that. That's a lie. I've seen it in person. I didn't actually step on it. Uh, I've tried all the other types, the slippery pads and stuff. Just none of them do what your human legs want. Curtius Brownington yeah. says, yeah. British people be like right. Look at this beautiful bloody walk of our at here, mate. Look at this beautiful bloody walk of our mate. <laughs> he said, yeah, that's exactly it. That's how it, that's how it all goes down here. Um, Okay, there are two versions. I bought the original VD. It's different. Yeah, that's the problem. If you have the original virtual desktop, uh, it won't be necessarily the same. If you want to get rid of one license and change over, then I would suggest uh, contacting the developer. Maybe you can sort you out. I don't know. What latency are you getting? I really don't get latency with it. Uh, it's actually pretty good. How do you play Curtius in this tiny Brown space? <laughs> How do you play VR it in looks, that tiny space? It looks small. My desk is big, right? Um, but it's not It's not terrible. I mean, if I was to bring you over to the camera, I could probably show you. Now, which one was it? That one? So, in terms of space, like, it's not It's not terrible. Did a synonymal fan in R1 it's, says, Trive got. But this is, again, remember, this is only half of my room. So, the behind that, uh, behind that green screen is another half of the room. So it depends. Zero kernel W zero LF says, "Do you have forward slash? Can you show us Wilson's heart?" Wilson's Great heart. Acting by Peter Weller. Yeah, Robocop. I have it. Uh, I don't know if it'll run. I don't know if it'll run. Um, I'd have to install it and then try it. I'm gonna try next from other sons because it didn't work on Quest. It broke my heart a little bit that didn't work. Guy has done a few bits and pieces to the application. I'm gonna see if from other sons will work on Quest 2 wirelessly. I'm not expecting this to work. It's running off of the Oculus Home Store. I don't think it's gonna function. We're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, okay. Uh, do you have low latency Bluetooth headphones? I do, flip, but they do not, they do not pair and work with Quest 2. Professional Sims the Bluetooth says, experimental is poor play Kingdom for audio, Hearts on it. unfortunately. So that is a limitation. It's a known limitation. And I would just, personally, I would stay away uh, from trying to do Bluetooth audio right now. It has an impact on the games you play. It's lagged by half a second. It's really uncomfortable. I don't recommend it. I think you'll find that it's no good for your needs right now. Okay, I'm gonna try to launch from other suns. We'll see how, how far we get with this. Um, Again, it's another one of those no guarantees situations. Let's see how we get on. I see the Oculus Studio logo. It appears to be running, but this is where I've run into problems before. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. There we go. Kaboom. Barnet Baron says, what if you run Oculus games through Steam with Revive? It's possible. It's possible, you can do that. Um, Okay, so From Other Sons is running. Let's see how long we can run it for. 
Chad R says, That's for a picture have later. you tried your VR sim seat? Uh, I don't have a VR sim seat, actually. Okay, first off, this game looks incredible this way. Will it let me? Oh, baby. Please, make it work. Professional simp says, can you play Rec Room on it? Bet this won't work. I bet this will just crash out or something. I don't think that's going to launch. I think it's got some code. I think there's some code to prevent it from working. Um, okay. It's working! Oh my god. <sighs> Medical Bay! From Other Sons is like one of my favorite games in VR. It's fucking awesome. Basically, it's FTL. And the game FTL. Hello! My good sir! Let's go get some guns! Now, this is a special ship. I don't know my way around this ship as well. This is a special ship. And, um. Where are we? Base. That's the kitchen. We'll find our way up to the upper deck. See, I, I beat the game, so I got a special ship. This is the deck of my beautiful ship. There's a planet out there. Okay, so it's actually functional, which is insane and amazing. Give me a blaster. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rob Nog 9X says, Zim, have you tried the new Subnautica mod with full hand tracking and improved HUD? Rob, uh, I saw it. I haven't tried it. My heart's a little broken with Subnautica. Like this game. The error on my desktop says fatal error. And it says that UE4 Foz from Other Sun's game has crashed. So close. Damn. Damn diggity damn. So as I said, some games, for one reason or another, don't stream well. Does the Aux port and the Quest support headset microphones? What do you mean by that? Um, Riverdome says, did you upgrade the Quest graphics according to the new video of Tilewood? Did I upgrade the Quest graphics according to Tyrael's video? Um, no, no. Is this, is, this, uh, is this the 90 hertz hack or is it something else? I don't think I've seen his video. I've been busy. Other things. Will it work with Link? Yes. Um, when you say so, when you said headphones, the 3.5 mil jack on the Quest. Uh, this guy will work with, with any 3.5 mil headphones. The Oculus debugging tool. Yeah. Oh, I haven't done that, Riverdome. No, I haven't. Um, I did hear about that, but I haven't done that myself. So. Uh, just as we were showing earlier, I mean, I can I can literally even take this set of headphones that we were talking about earlier, and I can plug it in. Like, there's there's no big deal with this at all. Now, this is not probably the best combination. I will be testing this out at some stage tonight. I didn't think so, but yeah, you just jack it in. Now, what I recommend getting, if you're going to do this, is I recommend picking up for cheap. Usually less than, Professional let's say, says, a dollar. Can you play with it outside or will it break like the other one that came out last year? It will, it will, it will break if you point the lenses to the sun. Okay? And I mean, even for a short time, you show the sun to these lenses, it'll f screw up the screen. I did it with my Oculus Go uh, early, early on when we didn't know they were so sensitive. I mean, they're super sensitive. I'm talking seconds. It is nasty. Cops, thanks for subbing. Um, so although you can be careful, I play with it in the forest and under shade and stuff like that. Don't play with it in the middle of the day. Uh, and if you do maybe cover off, uh, cover the lenses with something just to make sure that you're safe. Now what I would do for headphones usage, you get a little 90 degree adapter, plug it in and away you go. You're sorted, right? Job done. You can do that. Or if you're uh, a lucky person, you've been listening to old Zim, and you have one of these uh, Sennheiser headsets, their cable is actually really, um, really nice. It's, so the Sennheiser cable is super small. It's, uh, it's this tiny little right angle, and 
this guy just goes right around, plugs right into the headset. It's all like super small. And you can see how nice that is. It's just like fits perfectly right in there. Uh, and that comes, that cable comes with these headphones, um, which are Sennheiser, either 350 or 450 BTs. Uh, and then the, the more expensive of the pair actually come in white. Um, and these are, are, are headphones that I totally recommend. They're nice and cushy. I do a whole review video on these. I'm not gonna go into much detail. They pack up nice uh, and they're great com companion with the Quest. They don't interfere with the sidebands. They don't press on that. Professional so, Sim says, perfect. I just bought it off on the official website and it's coming on the 25th. Hey, 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 nice, nice simp. Nice, 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 very good. Always like to hear new indoctrinated people coming in with us, joining on this as well. Can you play with the outside? We answered that one. You bought off the professional store. All good. Iris, you have VR too. Excellent. And if someone could do all the work of installing the Subnautica mod for me, it might, I might try it. <laughs> Bax, I kind of feel like you. Yeah. These days it is what it is. Now, uh, I'll be doing quest streams every night, okay? Uh, until you guys get sick of me. So we're gonna be doing native quest stuff another night. And right now we've been basically talking just solely about virtual desktop. So before Dennis we finish, fan NR1 says, try VR chat. Uh, VR chat on the desktop. I can do that. That's fine. Okay. So VR chat on the desktop. So I will um, come on right back here. Professional simp says, which it's going to be never. We can do that. Very good. Uh, can VD run an executable? Can Hacho I work says, off my HMD? Can VD run any executable? Can I work on my HMD? Ah, so you're so what you do instead is you would you would run things on your desktop and run it that way. So you you don't have to just and look. I, I could probably show this to you in a better way. Uh, hmm. I'll tell you what, lads. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a minute here and actually Dennis show you. Fan NR1 says thank you. I'm gonna sh I I'm gonna show you virtual desktop here instead. So um, let me show you what I do, okay? Because I think this will help. Though I can't say anything since I just subbed LOL. Let me see. Let me let me see what I can show you here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick connect job and we're gonna show you actually what I've been talking about. I told you I wasn't gonna do this tonight, but because it doesn't take me that long, um, oh, this should work, but if it doesn't work, I'll skip it. Okay, this may not work because it's not the same IP address of what I was expecting it to be. So I have to go back into the code and configure some stuff. Let me just make sure that this thing is ready to accept a connection. And if it is, great. If it isn't, we'll leave it for now and we'll do it another night because this might not succeed. If this succeeds, great. It'll be quick and we'll just leave it as it is. Riverdome says, your streams are awesome, Zim. Thanks for all the hard work. Oh, you're welcome, uh, River. I'm, I'm just glad to be able to help people and, and uh, answer them out. It's been such a fun time. You know what I mean? All right. Connected, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Okay. Okay. That's working. Good. Let's just see. Is that working? It is working. Good. Okay. I'll just show you then. Mm, which one are we going to do? We'll come back. I'll tell you what. I'm going to use the same thing we did before. Professional simp okay. says, much more is it with the strap? So I'm cheating a little bit here, but... It's going to work, I think. Where are we? Boom, boom, boom. And then quest it. Okay. So I'm again, I'm cheating a little bit here. Sorry for the same beach images I had yesterday. I usually like to change this up, but it is what it is. Okay. Sorry, I missed some questions there. Uh, much more fun with a strap. Is it much more fun with a strap? It's just balanced. It, it kind of really takes the weight out of the headset. Uh, so it just feels really centered, which is nice. I like that a lot. Okay, now bear in mind, right? Because I'm running stuff on here, you're not gonna hear it. I don't have my audio solution sorted right now. So I'm not gonna play anything, that's not the point. 
what I am going to do is I'm going to go into virtual desktop, okay, and show you what I see through the headset in virtual desktop, because I think that's important. So first off, on this screen, ah, hold on, let's go to the other side. There's me. Hello, I'm on a beach. And as I descend down the rabbit hole, you can see slowly, as we see over here, I get redder and redder and redder and into the abyss. That's just the way it happens. There's chat, right? That's going right there. I'm not looking at chat this way. I just no speak to, to my PC on the desktop. Uh, but you can see it here. So this is like one of my stream setups. There's, uh, there's the text. If you put M in, it pops it up there and I hear it. It doesn't matter that it's green. At one stage, we were going to present it uh, on stream, but we didn't. So this is, uh, I'm going to show you Virtual Desktop's tool tray. So here you go. So you've got a 5 gigahertz connection. Shows you what your connection is. 866 megabits. Yeah, all good. Getting mine in an hour. Nice last lemon. Just come in, huh? There's my IP address, local, on the network. Uh, I can see I've got 34% left. 12 megabits per second video bitrate. Right, you can see the GPU is only utilized at 67%. Um, what else have we got? Frame rate, 72 FPS video frame rate. Now, the options are for desktop environments. Now, there's some things you can look at, and these are pretty cool. So if you wanted to play something, let's just go to the, uh, maybe, hmm, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Dark cinema or something? We've done that before. Let's try auditorium. So if you wanted to watch something, you can literally come and be in an audience in a giant cinema. And then you can go watch something. So you could go to videos, and um, from this tab, sometimes you could you could read stuff or whatever. Now I think that's actually working in certain parts, but I, I don't have it at the moment. Here's my list of games, which you can see, whole bunch of things. Now this is totally beautiful for me, actually. This is like I can read all of this clearly, um, and I can actually go to a different environment to bring that even closer. So if I go to the computer room, for example, here it is for me. Yeah. And um, I can go to my games, and then again, I've got a full list of games here. Everything's like Professional beautifully Sims rendered. Says, That'd be great to watch hentai on. You could watch hentai on this. Yeah, you absolutely could if you really wanted to. No problem. Um, yeah, yeah, it all works. So these are the the Oculus games. Here's your Steam games. So I could play any of these things if I wanted to, and they will launch. The ones that I haven't had the most success with so far. I haven't had the most success with Oculus games. I can launch like Lone Echo. I'll show you that in a second because I wanted just to see what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, the Elite Strap is worth it. I would not go off brand. Yeah, it is worth it for the money. It, it seems like you're paying a lot of money for it, but I think for Amit completing Bar the says, experience. Would you it's recommend quite good. getting non Oculus exclusive games in Oculus or Steam? Non Oculus exclusive games, in, I, would, I would go for Steam. I usually go for Steam games, actually. Um, some things run better in other headsets and stuff. Here's your VR bitrate. That's your throughput. Your frame rates. You can change that around if you're Dark having trouble slicing says, up the encoding. Zim -zimmer. All that kind of stuff. Hey, how's it going, Dirk? Yo, 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 yo. And this is where you launch Steam VR. Once you've done that, then you can just jump into your games. If you select the game, it launches it anyway. So let's go ahead and just give you a demonstration. Now, as I said, because I'm not running it off the PC. So can you use your desktop as normal and basically use the HMD as a display? Yeah, yeah, you totally can. So like, here's my virtual computer. Barnett Baron says, okay. have you tried to run them on Revive to see if helps with the Oculus games crashing? Watch this. Boop. Um, hang on. Not this one. That one. Oh, how am I going to show this for you? Hmm. Anything LOL says, link or VD in latency. Um, trying to think what I could show you. But yeah, like, I mean, anything just uh, just works. I mean, you can you could have keyboard in front of you, right? So let's say I wanted to do um, just a notepad thing. Holy shit, is that in my entire screen? It's pretty big. So we could say, uh, I'm just going to... Oh God! Let me recenter myself to kneeling position, please. This is where I am. This, Gavin you know. Rice says, "Can you use the built-in web browser okay. to join Zoom calls?" Oh, good question. I don't know that answer. So I can go. The little girl 
said that if I did buy her ice cream, she'd cry. Okay, hang on. I think I'm on the wrong scene. Is that the right scene? I hope it is. I can't see shit! <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can get my cursor to minimize. Can't tell if, he's, if you can see it or not. Uh, Professional simp says, holy shit, I just realized you can use that to do your school shit. Yeah, you can literally, so the nice thing, I wouldn't recommend this in Quest, because Quest isn't as nice, but, like, you can just hang out and just do stuff here and be like, yeah, whatever, you know, I could draw a Hutchie picture. Says, cool whatever. answered. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I'm glad it helps. Um, the thing that you can't do. Renegade Paladin says, okay. how will the new terms of service affect VR arcades that use Oculus? I... Uh, the thing is, people come to me and they ask these great big questions, and they're like, Zim's got to know this answer. And the answer to that question is, Zim doesn't know that answer. So, um, do some research, figure it out. <laughs> I can't help you. Um, I would recommend tapping Remarcus, R-A-M-A-R-C-U-S. He is an arcade owner, and I'll bet you he knows. So, this is it. This is like your whole kind of concept of having a a virtual desktop space, right? It's really excellent. Virtual desktop, some, at the beginning of the stream, some probably youthful, out of cash kids were saying, $20 for this app? Hydraulic this Chris is says, the, I be able to use my own? Virtual desktop is the single most fucking amazing piece of software that I've used in VR, period. The things I've been able to do with it. I can watch high quality, like when Game of Thrones was airing, I could watch that like, from anywhere in the house, or I could watch that from a different country, from my PC, or I could look up files if I needed to access files on my computer. Boy Owen, so many things. Lake says, so many how things. How big are the controllers? The controllers are this big. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, I don't have a banana for scale. Renegade Paladin <laughs> says, how did you spell your friend's name? How did you spell your friend's Bugs name? Bugs and VR says, Virtual what? desktop is a gateway drug to VR addiction. It's just amazing. Then some of the environments are really cool. Like, I mean, Dark Cinema is pretty neat. Um, Dark Angel 3 says, what we from here? what others have shown Purple over the past Nebula. year, $20 worth it. 20, oh, it's way worth it. Like, if you see apps like Vorpex, I really would recommend away from Vorpex. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So... Uh, we went through that. There's some steady the settings here. You're going to get a chance to play with this stuff. Emulate gamepad on PC is cool, so uh, you can play gamepad games. I mean, the thing I didn't show you, which I should probably show you, says, is, is anyone here from Australia too? stuff that you can... Australia, hey, Aussies! Hey, you're probably just sitting right there, yeah? Buddy Boy on the beach. Lake says, is the headset any good? That's, that's amazing. Renegade Paladin says, that's, that's amazing. Sorry, who did you say to check out for the arcade question? Remarcus. R-A-M-A-R-C-U-S. Remarcus. Hacho says, I'm Australian. Love it. Aussies. Nice one, Hutch. Nice. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. What time is it? Um, what I'm trying to do is launch StarCraft to show you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'll try. Where is it? Okay, I think everything's hiding behind this Tim scene, so give me a second. Says, I'm we'll getting off out. to on Friday, two days from okay. now. We'll sort this out, MC no problem. Says, we got it. Big screen is similar. It. Big screen is similar in terms of what you can do with it and all that kind of stuff. Nice to meet you. I dropped the sub. Gotta go. Bye, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Subs are appreciated for sure. Um, blah, blah, blah. Close that. What I gotta do is I just bring stuff. Uh, virtual desktop is great. Really love it. I'm going to show you something that I absolutely love, which is I love playing like 2D games on my Quest with my kids downstairs. Gavin Rice They're says, playing, can you use virtual set. desktop with right. a laptop? You can use it with a laptop, yes. Again, remember the important part is the center bit. Like, do you have a router that can support it? Okay. Um... This is just updating. MC Kydlet says, I use my Oculus Go, so I use big screen. Thank you, Mikey. Professional Appreciate Sim it. says, 
I can't wait to see if you was on that. There you go. Go on, put some more names under there. Who hasn't subbed yet? Put your name on my desk. <laughs> I'll leave it open. I'll give, uh, give Anonymous five things. Anonymous <laughs> says, will every game be available? <laughs> oh, Hacho, it's funny, dude. Funny, 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 funny. Um, will every game be available? Anonymous. So when you're saying, will every game be available? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I use my Oculus Go, so I use Big Screen. Big Screen's great, Kidlet. Nice name as well. I like it. Kidlet is a cool name. Hydraulic Chris says, can I use my own charger? So this doesn't, as far as I'm aware, have TRRS support. So it doesn't pick up a microphone. If you, if you plug in a headphone, it's going to use the stereo microphone here. Okay? So... Um, so it's going to use the stereo microphone on the headset itself. Yeah. This guy. What else have we got? That's not MC Kyvlet says, it. "Is the Quest 2 worth it?" <laughs> Screwed up all my stuff. I, I don't love... want to have to log into Facebook. Uh, so you don't log into Facebook, like when you're. Uh, that's one of the things, like. Anonymous, anonymous. You just link your says, account. That's say it. Like I have a very old VR set. Will the games on it be available? Uh, if you have a very old VR headset, will the games be available? So, if you buy, if you bought bought before VR games, can you use them with the new headset? Yes. Yeah. Um, unless you have a PSVR or a Gear VR, those apps aren't compatible. Okay. But Oculus Home apps like on the Go, the CV1, the DK2, Rift. Steam VR library with virtual desktop, you can get access to all that stuff. Professional Simp says, yeah. I don't even have Facebook, only Twitter, LOL. Uh, the Quest 2 is, in my opinion, definitively better than the Rift S. I think that if you have a Rift S like I do, you might actually continue using it. You might choose to continue using it simply because it's good fun. Now, StarCraft is updated. Get ready for StarCraft music. And uh, hopefully MC this will Kydlet says the be Oculus Go is worth it if you want to get a sample of VR. Yeah, Oculus Go is good. You can do cool stuff with the Oculus Go as well. If you don't know the game Narrows, that's my favorite Oculus Go game. Uh, fantastic title. Really, really good fun. Let me see what's happening here. Dear, dear StarCraft. Game is running. Is it now? I'm trying to show you something. This may be difficult. <laughs> um, okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to show you something now, if I can. So number we need is, what, three, I think? Let's just say, don't get go unless it's like 100 only. Hydraulic Chris yeah, says... Yeah, yeah. Do you think that 256 GB is better than 64 GB? Only if you're going to play a lot of games. Um, if you're going to be using virtual desktop, 64 is enough because you're, all your storage and your games are on, on PC. Now, this is a really old game. I love StarCraft. It was from ages ago. Um, and it is what it is. Oh, shit. What happened? Now, this usually works. It's only because I'm having... I'm actually streaming, so it's uh, being a pain in the ass. Let's see if I can get this to work properly. No. I don't know why it's being awkward. Come back to me. Let me see if I can do single player. Still not. All right, something's fecky. Kydlet says, I recommend it works. 256 because you're most likely going to get games on the quest. It works. Okay, I don't know why that scene's all screwed up, but it is. Anyway... Just take my word for it. That works actually pretty well. So, um, yeah. Quest 2 is great. Quest 2 is fantastic. I, I love the headset. Great balanced headset. Totally worth the money. It's actually like a $600 headset for $300. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. That's basically all I can say about it. Look, we've, we've kind of covered on quite a bit of virtual desktop. So, the last thing that... Um, it looked like an alien? MC Kyle yeah, says, know. you look like an alien with the headset on LOL. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. I can be an alien. I'll be whatever you want. 
Just keep slipping, slipping money in my bra. No. <laughs> ah, you think I'm joking. Look up Zim in a bra. That'll change your life, kids. That'll change your life. So. Hacho says, Facebook must be taking at least a hundred loss on every sale. Shit, what's this now? Uh, that's that one we want. Facebook is not taking a hundred. They're taking more than GB that on, on these sales. It's ridiculous. House party game in VR. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I think what we're going to do is um, I'll probably just, you know, finish up for tonight. Unless you've got any additional things that you want to ask. I think we're going to wrap it up here because um, it's already past midnight here. And I want to be able to do these streams every night, which means I have to get some sleep so I can actually get some energy in me. Otherwise, things go fecky and it's not good, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, we're just going to hang out. But thank you very much for checking this out. That was really cool. Um, the other thing that I would say Hatching is... Says, have a good night, mate. See you uh, next time. And I can't wait to try my new... Ooh, Sennheiser HD 600s. Says, sleep is for the week. <laughs> I used to think sleep was for the week. For years, I was getting four hours, five hours sleep a night. And then, I ended up looking like this. Listen, VR says... Good night, sweet prince. You need to sleep. Definitely. So I'm going to take off. Thank you, everyone. It's been a lovely evening. Enjoy your company as always. We're back tomorrow Adam again. Says, Facebook round, is like YouTube, not actually profitable. Round 9.30 or so. So used to be pissing away money. I MC am... Kydlet says, I subbed. I am going to... I am going to be streaming Quest 2 as much as I can for as long as I can. So keep coming back if you're interested. Let me know what you want to see on stream. Uh, I listen, I watch back, and we timestamp all these so you can go back and very easily check stuff MC out. If you haven't Hyman watched them, says, Hell yeah. check the other streams from the series. We've, we've got about 14, maybe 16 hours of Quest 2 content there. If you haven't already seen it, go chew it up. Um, like good old Hacho. Link Discord PLZ. Uh, the Discord, if you want, is... I gotta get this sorted out. Discord.zimtalk5.com And if you want to learn how to stream with the Oculus Quest 2 wirelessly in the way that I do it, zimtalk5.com slash VR. Got a little, a little article there on streaming with the Quest. It's the only one that I've managed to publish. Thank you, COVID! But thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to get out of here. Have a great evening. And uh, yeah, if you want anything, just hit me up. Let me know. And we'll take it from there. Enjoy the skull. One of my favorite high definition video outros that we have. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get out of your hair. Be back tomorrow. Back proper quest streaming. I hope that answered your questions about virtual desktop. If it hasn't, hit me up on Twitter. At ZimTalk5, my DMs are open. Feel free to ask me questions. And if you want to see a variety of things from Zim's past, check out our Twitch reruns channel, which is ZimTalk5 TV. So that's that's available at twitch.tv slash ZimTalk5 TV. 24-7 reruns, 3,000 subs. If you want to just watch Zim on replay. There you go. That's that. Have a great one. See you. Peace out.